All right, all right, we should be Gucci Bandana. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Hey, yo, what's good? What's cracking? What's happening? Yup, this is Mr. Blake Frankel here, and today we are now back on my rise. Now, like I promised from the last my rise, we went through the whole road with my myself, became the greatest WB World Heavyweight Champion there is. Now it's time we let the women get their turn. So I already created my woman from the last Twitch stream. I created Dawn, Dynamic, Matoda. You know why? Because that bitch is dynamic. So we're going to have her go down her road into becoming the greatest women's champion on my rise. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you're ready. And let's get this started. Oh, shit. I never looked this far. Unfortunately, the audio is blocked because um, the game doesn't want to allow us to, to hear it. So we're gonna skip that and we're gonna go straight into it now the men's of course was the undisputed now we're going to the unleash which is the women's you define your own rules and the wrestling company you built from the ground up and is the hottest promotion on the indie scene but when you're given the opportunity to share your talents on the larger stage of wwe will you unleash your full potential or hesitate and hold back let's find out Oh shit, I fucked up. Hold on, hold on. I just realized something. Before we really get into it, if it lets me get out of it, it won't let me get out of it. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I fucked up. I meant to import <laughs> my wrestler. I forgot that when you make a character, you gotta import and, and yeah. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. We're gonna hop into this really fast. Alright, 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 all right. come on, come on, come on. Cause because I was wondering why I didn't see that clip that clip scene last time that I remembered I imported my guy last time, which is why I didn't see anything this time. Okay, so let's import our wrestler. There's our Dawn Dynamic Matoda. Alright, now let's get started. <laughs> Now the sound is up, so any sound that's blocked is WB's, not me. Tonight, TBD brings the heat, the undeniable best of the West Coast wrestling scene back with hard hitting action in TBD. All belts are off, are off as newcomer Psycho Sally continues to wreck havoc on TBD pr promoter. Cole Quinn takes on El Original in our technical wrestling clinic, and our main event will ruthless. Ozzy Rift defend the longest running champion in TBD history. The locker room leader and captain of her domain is an anything goes sure to be brutal TBD rules match. Okay, okay. Forget what you've seen. Throw the rule book out the window. Embrace yourself for non stop hard hitting action. This is TBD. I like that. Honestly, I, I I need I should do the voiceover work, but I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> but like I said, I did have everything set, so the audio should be good for y'all. Yep, there we go. All right. All right, let's get it. We got Dawn getting ready to take on the longest reigning champion, Odyssey Riff. I ain't gonna lie, she she definitely looks convincing. She looks very very convincing. I will say I I am a fan of this of the TBD arena. It is like a good mixture between um, the Hammerstein Ballroom when ECW will hold it down, and um, what what's the other arena that they usually like to have in here? The, the law arena, the LAW arena. So, so it already interests me a lot. But while waiting on Dawn to make her entrance, one thing I do like to mention, bro. Have y'all been watching? I've been watching WB lately as well, and so far the, the draft looks pretty good. I admit the first round kind of bored me only because the first round was more securing names that was already there, but then the second round kind of shook up a little bit, which I did like. So I hope it does work out well. Oh wait, I'm the champion? I thought it was the other way around. Okay, fuck it. 
Dawn Dynamic Matoka coming out. She's the longest reigning champion defending her belt against Odyssey Riff. See, I, I feel like I've done good work on her. Because like I said, this character here, I've made her for multiple years. Like just like how I made my original character over the years, I've always made her and re made her remade her and remade her and remade her. So this is like probably I want to say the fourth the fourth instance of me making her onto the WB roster. So I felt like I've done pretty good in having her continue her, her run into returning into the games. Now for her, you're going to see a lot of a mixture of um, a lot of a Charlotte Flair type of type of vibe mixed with a little bit of power from like Bianca Belair. But you're going to see some wrestling magic from her though. I will say that belt does look nice, so I, I want to see too what do I unlock from doing this road with her. Here we go with that belt. I, I admit the belt doesn't have too much on it, but it looks nice though. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get started. Oh, and already with a drop kick to the face. Oh shit. <laughs> we're going to get to power. So it's a power out to get to technician. So we're going to really see how this goes. But this shouldn't be a problem for the longest reigning champion. I will admit, I kind of wish T TBD was allowed to have an announcer. It would, it would make it so much better in the same way. But it's okay. They want me to attack her with a weapon. I'm going to go ahead and wear her down a little bit first. Come on, Odyssey. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got to be careful going for a combination onto a heavyweight. Especially when you're not a heavyweight yourself. Nope, no. Too early. Really riff. Nope. Oh, I just got to drop the oh, That's fine. Right. That's fine. Right. Ooh, what a nice flow over DDT. And another one for the troubles. Alright, let me get out of here before she, before she comes at me. Oh, no. I, I went the wrong way. I mean, that's the one thing I kind of hate with the gameplay sometimes is like they put you into the wrong with the wrong way for no reason. I just noticed something fix these levels just a bit, just a little bit. Alright, we're good. There we go. I will say Odyssey could take a lot of fucking hits. I mean, a lot of hits. <laughs> I wanted to make this look good for I got the weapon, but she's she's making it to where I kind of need to get that right now, actually. But as you can tell, the good thing is I made her mainly a submissionist as well, so submissions is not too much of a hassle for her. Let me get out the ring real quick. Oh. Come on, reach under there. How you have all these weapons but not a chair? There we go, work on the legs real fast. Beat her ass with a shovel. Oof. And she just hit me with a shovel. Oh yeah, we put in the fight. Throw her back in the ring real quick. Come on, get get, get that shit. But yeah, the the WWE draft was it, it was kind of so so to me. Like there was a lot of like picks of people that was already there. I'd say the most of the difference was kind of like on Kiana James getting a call up, which is pretty cool. Let's see here, what else is going on? Um, other than that, I I feel like the only memorable ones was a lot of people that all pretty much just came back to to the brand they're already on. 
I thought it was hilarious the bloodline had to be a whole group pick. But the same thing was for was for um Chad Gable and the, oh not nah, nah. Chad Gable and what the the Alpha Academy? Okay, this is getting difficult because I need to get a, a a table, but she is not giving me no time to breathe. I've never seen a, a, a big woman that, that recovers so goddamn fast like Odyssey. She does not stay the fuck down for two seconds. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, this is going to be a rough match. It, 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 I was coming into this shit a little easy, but noticing the fact that Odyssey doesn't know how to sit down for like literally two seconds is definitely making this difficult. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, that's nice. <laughs> Just straight deck me with the power of the punch. Good attempt, but not there. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to hurry up and set up this damn table, but like I said, she won't fucking let me breathe for like two seconds or fucking get a chance to. She just keeps getting right back up. <laughs> she reminds me a bit of an awesome calm mixed with Nia Jax type of type of setup, which I can respect. God damn it, bitch, let me, let me get this damn table. Alright, here we go. Finally, I'm getting myself a goddamn table. Let me go ahead and get this in the ring. Relax, bitch. God damn. I'm sitting here trying to set up this table for like the goddamn longest. I'm gonna say, how do I ignite the table? This funny thing is, as much as I play this game, I have never lit the table on fire. All right, hurry up, hurry up, get her up, get her up. Now, this is gonna be tricky because she's not a powerhouse, so I don't know if she can lift her. Can she lift her? Oh, she, yeah, no, she can't lift her. I don't know how I'm supposed to get her through a table if I can't lift her. Either way, try to get a chance to even hit her is going to be the harder part. Okay, I could definitely say the first match for the for the women's story is definitely much more difficult than the men's story in Star Wars. And I, I do like it. Because they give you something that's just not happening. <laughs> trying to think how am i going to get it through the table i can't lift her i don't have a powerhouse and it's like i don't know how else i'm supposed to directly throw somebody onto a damn flaming table especially someone like odyssey that i can't get a chance to do a damn thing with her Wait, can I, can I make it work? Can I reach the table? No, I can't reach the goddamn table. Hmm. Wait, there we go. Nice. Can I pin her? Okay, good. Let's, let's end it here. That should do it. Come on, man. This bitch ain't staying down for nothing. Come on, get up, get up. There we go, hit her with the chop block. And of course she rolls out. That's fine. Since it's false count anywhere, I could tap you out even on the outside of the ring. 
Now this is her finisher I like to call Dawn for Greatness. The four leg clover. It's, it's a very good leg submission move. And there it is. Now one, officially one of the best champions in TBD history. Dawn Dynamic Matota. Who's she calling in? Oh, she's calling, calling in for promoter? Nice, we're gonna hear her talk. Let's see how her voice sounds. Is it better than a male actor? TBD! It is. It's much better than a male I actor. TBD! This! This is what it's all about! They said that we were too loud! Too proud! They told us that we couldn't do things on our own terms! And we said... We weren't asking for your permission. Okay, okay. With the mic drop, all right. Okay, so far I already like the voice of the of, of the female wrestler better than the male's wrestler off the rip. I'll give it that. But nice. That that's a good start off already. Okay, let's see where the story's taking us. Oh, they call her the captain. Okay, that works. Oh yeah, so we already got some points to start off of because you know, I already got the pre-order and stuff for the game. So let's go ahead and set her up. Fine, get a little resistance. Throw on the defense up. Low on the strikes. Get the grapples going. Okay, so we might have to, we're gonna have to drop some stuff already. Hmm. You know what? No, we'll rock with that. Yeah, this is how we're starting off with, with, with our wrestler. Okay, we already got people hitting her up on TBD. Hangry, going for an oatmeal. Well, okay, that's random. At least you know she follow, follows WB. Send our best wishes to the with the best ready to find the future of WB at the Las Vegas tryouts. Okay, so I'm guessing we get we get get into a tryout. That's good. I like that. Now, where to bring the chaos today, or just new hair? <laughs> Tonight, main event with Odyssey Rift challenge Dawn Dynamic Matoda for the TBD Championship. Okay, some good start offs tonight. Hey, obviously killed it in your title defense tonight. But please remember that we're on a budget here, and we have to pay for everything you break. <laughs> no guarantees. But all right, let's see. Let's see what's going on with Rose that and match the was other one. Awesome. <laughs> Be careful, Sally. You'll give her a bigger head than she already has. So, flaming table again. Time tested. Crowd approved. True. Also, an insurance risk. Not to mention we've seen it before. But that was one hell of a main event. Way to rally the crowd afterwards, too. Well, I meant what I said. I told you when we founded this place that we could pull it off. Couldn't do any of it without you. Oh, I know. I'm very aware of how much time I spend doing paperwork to keep the lights on around here so that you can go out there and break stuff. But you break stuff so cool, Gap. I just hope I can put on a match like that someday and, and have that sort of confidence on the mic. A reason why you can't. You may be new around here, Psycho Sal, but you could be the future of TBD someday. <laughs> Heck, she could be the future of WWE tomorrow. Literally. Really, Sally? There You're you go. going to the WWE Vegas tryouts? You're not mad, are you? I do feel bad even thinking about leaving after everything you've done for me. After everything you've done for this whole locker room, really. There's a reason why we call you the captain around here. Alright, so... For this road, we're going to kind of do like with the guys road. The first start off, the first beginning of the road, we're going to go more on the, the, the baby face road. And then down the line, we're going to then do it again and go down the hill road. Who am I to stop you from pursuing an opportunity like that? I'm not mad. I'm excited for you. Huh. Even sounds like she means it. What's that mean? Let's just say that WWE is not exactly looking for people like me. They have a type. I'm good at doing my own thing. 
Different strokes, you know? They were literally looking for people exactly like you. Cap turned them down a few years back with some oh, strong Oh, that's powers. interesting. I respectfully declined WWE so you and I could start TBD together and work with all talent, including those who don't fit their mold. I just noticed. I, no I should I should edit her WWE. eyes. Her eyes look like she's high real quick. Wasn't the right move. <laughs> I wasn't going for that. Case, you'd have no problem coming with me to the tryout. Wait a second. This feels like a trap. Look, Sally needs a ride, and we need new talent for TBD. WWE can't sign everyone from the tryouts, so you go, watch Sally's back, and you lurk. And if you walk away with some new names for us to reach out to, so be it. I could sure use that is support. Interesting. That's a good Obviously, thing to think about. Obviously, I can't go as the boss of a rival promotion, but a top, technically free agent? Fine, I'll go with you to the WWE tryout, but don't expect me to like it. I wouldn't ask you to. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, well that's nice. So, it's, it sees that my person has, she, she definitely went to a trial before, she turned them down, which means she probably was meant to go into it, and they just like, nah, I'm, she was just like, nah, I'm good. But you know, it's understandable, some people don't always want to hit the big time right away. Maybe they want to keep working their craft, maybe they want to keep doing something different. But... That is a good idea, though, at least for something. You know, just lurk a little bit, see what's going on. All right, let's, let's see what's happening at this trial. I will say, I do like indie shows, though. Like, honestly, if you're a big wrestling fan, indie shows aren't bad to go to whatsoever. Sometimes you can find some really amazing shit there that you won't right find at here. the big shows. It's a tryout, not the CIA. I can't believe I'm here at all. What's that they say in old movies? You got moxie, kid. And don't let my negative attitude about this place sway you. You could learn a lot from WWE. You got this. Are you really afraid of running the ropes? I thought you were a big shot college star. Yeah. I ran on a track. I didn't hurl my body into tight ropes. <laughs> tight ropes? Really? I don't get why they keep inviting <laughs> so-called athletes to these things. WWE should focus on talent who actually know the business. Maybe you could focus on minding your own. Business, that is. <laughs> wow. Great comeback. You didn't seem worth the effort to come up with a better one. Wait, don't I know you? You're with TDD. They call you the captain over there, right? That's actually not my name. But if the reputation fits, you must get it then. We're not here to have our spot taken away by someone who's never even stepped in the ring before. If you're worried about losing your so-called spot to a rookie, you're probably in the wrong place. Are you really that insecure? <laughs> oh, I'll show you how insecure I am. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Couldn't stop yourself from making trouble for even a moment, Cap? Uninvited and still somehow a thorn. Why Shotzi hates me? I ladies, like Shotzi. <laughs> ladies, we don't have time for shenanigans. I love William today. Regal. God damn. That includes whatever beef anyone in this room, Shotzi included, might have with someone else from the independent circuit. My colleague, Mr. Regal, is right. We've got a busy schedule today to get all of you seen. Even those of you we weren't expecting to see. Yes. The curious question. Of our unexpected guest. Thank you, Justine. I'm not disappointed to see you, but I am confused. You've turned down our invitations in the past, but you show up today. What can I say? Circumstances change. I'm ready to give it a try. Yeah, she's super stoked to be here. <laughs> well, that's just fantastic. Everyone warm up. We'll get started soon. Well, damn, I thought she was just there just to support the support her friend. I guess she's going to hop in. Fuck it. <laughs> so why are you really here? TBD scouting trip? Well, I respect. Well, at least Justine knew. <laughs> I, 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 I like that at least. Hey, do me a favor and try to keep a somewhat low profile today, okay? Think stealth in your scouting. Might be too late for that. Didn't you just get there? Oops. <laughs> what did you do? 
Sorry, gotta go. Busy doing your dirty work for you. <laughs> well, damn, that's a way to start off. <laughs> All right. But say, I'm not going to look at too much of the social media stuff, just like the last one. I'll take some looks here and there if it looks interesting, but I'm not going to follow up on all of it. But all right, let's let's, let's see what we get, get out of this. All right, before I talk to Shotzi, who I guess somehow I pissed her off at the independent circuit, let's 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 meet the, the track star that they was trying to dog. Thanks for the help out there. Tight ropes. It must have sounded like an idiot. No problem. And hey, everyone starts somewhere. I didn't know about any of this stuff until I started watching and doing it and, well, learned all about this stuff. Uh, fair point. I just didn't want to pass up a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because I thought I wasn't prepared enough. Especially since the recruiter said they could train me in the basics. You did track in college? All conference. Set my fair share of records, too. That's cool. That's cool. Ever been in a fight? Does online count? Ugh. Nah, bruh. <laughs> Probably not when you're in the ring against someone who has. But you'll figure it out. Good luck today. I will say, she does look like a track star, so I'll give them props. They made her actually look like an actual track star. I don't know. Track stars has a certain look to them that you, you could just tell off the rip that they, that they look like they came from track and field. All right, let's see what Shotzi's up to. I really wasn't expecting to see you here today. What can I say? It was a last-minute decision. And Regal and Justine don't seem to mind. Why do you? Are you really going to pretend you don't remember? How you refused to book me in TBD? Oh, okay. Now we're getting it. Now we're understanding it. So she got blocked on the books and she's been pissed since. Oh. That this is a real instance that happens in the indies for certain wrestlers. Certain wrestlers get blocked from certain promotions because of beef with certain wrestlers. And the ones they try the promotion they'll get into usually has a higher welcoming to um whoever their biggest people say is cool or not. There's been a lot of bad instances of this, so I I, I guess I understand. First off, I don't do the booking. My business partner Geneva Rose handles all of that as promoter. And secondly, no. I don't remember that at all. TBD was the hottest emerging promotion and there was never any room on the card for me because someone else was hogging all the attention as champion. Hogging attention as champion? You mean successfully and consistently defending my title? You say tomato, I say you're a selfish, overrated champion who I could have easily beaten if given the opportunity. I'm sure you told Geneva not to schedule the match. I feel like she's ready to curse me out, but you know, because since she didn't write the script, she can't automatically be like, bitch, this is your fault. But it would have been hilarious though. It would be hilarious. I can't speak for Geneva, but I do know that she tried to book talent at my level, which let's be honest, you are not. Yo, what's good, Simon? What's happening? I hope you're doing good. We can agree to disagree. What we can't disagree on, however, is that I'm the one in charge today. But since you're so talented, you won't mind the tryout match I just set up for you. Oh boy, I don't like the sound of her voice. <laughs> what did you do? Just set up a match against those two other potential recruits. Since you had such an issue with them, felt right for you to take both of them on at the same time. Wait, wait, wait. So you put me in a handicap match for a trial? You got you got to be chill, bro. I say yeah, I mean the the the, the WWE draft it felt a little unnecessary, honestly. I mean, I get it why they do it. It's their it's their usual thing, but it, it yeah, it, it kind of felt disappointing. Watching SmackDown last night just felt like a filler show to where the main focus was the Bloodline storyline, which I kind of like the interest that's going with it, and just the draft. But every other match lackluster. We already seen um, fucking, what was it? LWO. We seen w LWO already multiple times against Dado Del Fantasma and all them. 
the women's the women's match didn't feel like it really felt to anything. The only good match really was Cody versus Carmelo Hayes, to where Carmelo Hayes looked really good. The ending threw me off because I don't know if they meant to do that whole misfiring of the jumps off the ropes, but it still looked good though. Definitely a good match. A two-on-one handicap match? Sure, why not? Unless you want me to tell Regal. I don't know. We haven't heard anything if he's injured problem. or not. I hope not. I, 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 I'm pretty sure Cody isn't because there hasn't been no big news. But I definitely hope he's not injured because, because at the end of the day, we can't blame Carmelo. It was just whatever spot they did just happened. But I'm pretty sure Cody will tough it out. Co Cody's a tough kid, honestly. It's no problem. I'm that good. Perfect. I look forward to evaluating your performance. Man, Shotzi put me in a two-on-one match. Why the women's road has already seemed tougher than the guys in the start off? I don't remember the guys in my ride starting off this difficult, but the the women's look like they going in harder. Respect it, but goddamn. All right, let's see what I could do here. I got to win a handicap match and a tryout that I'm not even meant to be there. <laughs> Taking on two other okay, potential good. It's recruits at once. Quite a way to make an impression, but dare I say risky. I like risky. I respect right. it. But we'll find out soon enough if she can handle it. Don't hold your breath. Yo, it really was she just can't. like a 2K spot. I swear it was. It was like it was like pretty much when both characters that face each other all had bit, had bad timing on who, who was going to jump off of what. Back in the ring again? It Seriously? looked good, but at the same time, it, was, it, it looked too video game-ish. I didn't think ring. I would be would do Justine. that. <laughs> We talked about this. Don't worry, I know my role. All right, let me, let me try to try lock in a little bit, but, but, but I'm always here for conversation. We've got a good crop of women to choose from today, Regal. They're not all so Mom, great. Bring it on. What's her name? Sensational Starla. Shots. All right, Starla, I'm gonna rip your legs apart. I'm sorry, but we. I want you to bring Donna Matrix back in here. Donna was whooping my ass in the start off. Was I this pathetic in my WWE tryout? Oh, more so, I should say. What? Ask <laughs> stupid questions, get stupid answers. I love hey, William Regal. The truth. Oh, yep. Let's work that out. What? You talking about Don's here? Look, her favorite her favorite color is blue. That matches her outfit. All right, it's Definitely she decided to rock the, the hair, the <laughs> but it right works now. though. Nope. <laughs> Look, when you see the full all. outfit of her, you're gonna realize it works. Oh, but Simon, I realized you gave me a follow. Much respect. Thank you very much. Always appreciates the follows. Ooh, come on. And a nice leg drop. Come on, sensational. You ain't looking that sensational right now, bruh. Don't hold back. Give him hell. One. Oh, yeah. I, I, I put the glow effect on the hair just so, like, it gave it a little bit of brightness to it. The shine didn't feel like it did enough. So I was like, screw it. Let me let me put on the glow effect. I mean, I, I mean, it looks good. I believe it does. Pretend you're at a live show. We're an audience of hundreds. Ooh, but that Hulk Hogan leg drop definitely does work. Oh, and I like this move here. Let's pop up your Nagi. Quality. Brain break right there. Donna and Starla are looking great here. No question who the stars of this match are. I swear, Shotzi is such the biggest hater. So I feel like I'm definitely going to be dealing with a lot of Shotzi's bullshit. There we go. Now we got her out the ring. Let's try to end this real quick. Well done. Fabulous maneuver. Okay. Excellent stamina. Be careful. They'll all think they're getting signed. Fear not. I am very selective. That was a good reversal from Sensational, but it wasn't Sensational enough. wear down that leg a little bit. Come on now, we don't have all day. 
Yeah, I got you, Regal. Just remember, you got me in the handicap match. Smell of a handicap match in the morning. Oh shit. Well, she's just bench pressing me. Well, goddamn. Don't, don't. Tag is good. All right, damn. All right, well, that's fine. I wore down sensation enough. So now, whatever I do, do to Donna here shouldn't be too much of a worry. Talent just keeps getting better and better, huh? Love the Kevin Owens Tamatanga. Oh yeah, that that was that was actually pretty hilarious. That that I didn't expect that to be so good. But but that was but that's one thing I do like with um Triple H now under control. He he, he does a lot. He does very Wasn't well with like morphing today. multiple storylines into a simple segment. Because yeah, the main focus was the women's tag team match match that's coming up, which I'm hoping Jade and Bianca wins. I don't hate the Kabuki Warriors. I fucks with them heavy. But it kind of just makes sense since you have Jay Dare, you need to make her look good. And Bianca could use a tag team title reign even though she don't technically need it. She could use it. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to, to, to Kevin Owens she was like in going against Tama Tonga into a matchup. Think it was possible to get worse at I think wrestling. next week they said they're having a tag team match with the Bloodline. Um, ooh, nice. With the, with the Bloodline going up against um, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. So you already know that's gonna be a good looking match. And this move I call Dawn for Greatness. No, no, not Dawn for Greatness. This is that the dynamic pump I handle. I'm sorry. Sure. But she's not actively betraying anyone right now. I bet she has it in her though. Alright, let's go ahead and wear her down real quick. Oh shit. Alright. I will say these computers are pretty good at getting some last minute reversals, especially the fact I'm playing on Legend. Alright. Nah, I ain't done yet. Let me just start in the background. Oh yeah, the entrances are very cool. I, I definitely like the new production that, that Triple H's been focused on lately. Everything is more simple, but more Honestly, interesting at the same time. Honestly, the exception to the rule. Generally not into bringing indie talent. <laughs> okay, maybe I did fuck up. Whatever. <laughs> I'm trying, damn it. <laughs> But now nah, we're going. I'm, I'm trying to end this match off very fast. So right now they're both banged up, so I got this match under control. And I'm playing on Legend, so it's gonna happen. Okay, 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 okay. Come on! Bitch. I thought this was supposed to be easy for you, Cap. Don't you dare hit me! Come on, get in this ring. Come on. I'm going to sensationally whoop your ass so I can get this trial over with. Not even meant to be here to try out in the first place. Is that the best she can really do? There we go. Wear out the leg a little. Knock Donna off one more time. Get back in this ring. Drop you real fast. Come on, come on. And now it's time for the Dawn for Greatness submission. Don't reach for the ropes. Don't you dare. Don't rope break me. Of course he's going to rope break me. Fuck it. Pin should be there. The effect is there. If 2K still left it the same. Yep, she did. All right. There we go. We got it. Well, of course I got to spear the shit out of her. Look, if you're ever in a tag team match, I always realize that's the best move to do. Spear the shit out of your opponent to get him off the apron so that way you could pin the other opponent in the ring without interruptions. But, but yep, thank you, GG's, thank you. <laughs> All right. I mean, it still was technically a clean fission. It, it, it was clean. I still pinned her clean. I and, I and I find ways to play without having to use the payback. I'm... I will use that like important parts, but not all the time. But all right, let's let's see what Psycho 
and Shotzi mm -hmm. got to say about that matchup. Yes! That's how we do it in TVD. Two opponents and you still wipe the floor with them. <laughs> You're Psycho Sally, right? I saw your tape online. Don't get the psycho part, but we can work on that. Okay. And you're new enough that she probably hasn't ruined you by teaching you bad habits yet. Whatever grudge you have against me, don't take it out on Sally. She deserves this opportunity, not your snark. It's okay, mm. Cap. I, I can take it. Even if I am also totally overwhelmed that one of my favorite WWE superstars knows who I am. So, I mean, did I pass she your could learn challenge? From her. Anyone can get lucky in one match. Luck? Cap's always great in the ring. I watched her almost set a woman on fire. <laughs> Believe me, I miss some of the stuff I used to do in the indies more than anyone. But in WWE, we don't set people on fire on a whim. <laughs> on a whim? You should have seen the whole story, though. It was an epic culmination, a confrontation for the ages. Let's go, Sally. We're wasting our time talking to her. But I'm proud of what we do in TBD. Right, right. TBD is so unique. TBD is so different. So different that apparently it never had room for me. Yeah, they have too much of, of a still grudge. Still kind of weird you're holding on to that. You're proud of TBD? Then show us this crazy, Yo. unique TBD style Yo, you you're all about. Ooh. Let's see a Hold new on, I'm, DQ I'm, I'm, I'm match get that, get actually you on that. impress me. That won't be a problem. Okay. Against her. All due respect to Psycho, you and I both know that she's not ready to take me on in that kind of match, Shotzi. You, you don't want to fight me, Cap? You know it's not that. Hey, I gotta earn my Psycho stripe sometime, right? I, I respect Psycho still one step in here. Just give the her a match, make her look good. Possibly the most important opportunity of my life. Yeah, why not? You heard her before. She can take it. Are you sure you're okay with this? Let's do it. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help my girl Psycho look good. But yeah, with theory, I will say this. Respectfully, the, the the time building up for Theory before they put him in the new game, Theory was has been on a losing streak bad. Like I can say, like right after they released the last year game, he was pretty much started to go on a bad turn most of the time, and he wasn't really building up to anything. It wasn't until after the game dropped that all of a sudden my guy finally become a tag team champion. So I mean, don't get me wrong, I could definitely see him like move up a little bit, but just in a little bit of time. And honestly, a lot of NXT stars, I do admit too, they should have a higher rating here and there. But you know how to, how they're doing. They're treating NXT as their minor league. So everybody that's in the minor league, no matter how good of a run you're doing, they're going to put them lower just so like, you know, treat them the way they has. And Solo, I don't know what they're doing with Solo. I'm honestly confused with how they're treating Solo right now. It's like Solo came off, came off a good ass winning streak. And then he went to WrestleMania to face John Cena. He beat the dog shit out of John Cena. It wasn't even like a simple, he fought hard. He beat John Cena down like he stole like he stole money from him. Especially the continuous um, Samoan spikes to the throat, like multiples. And then all of a sudden, after this man beat John Cena to death, he went on a losing streak. And just kept losing and losing and losing and even on the house shows the man kept losing it's like how do we have this guy as such a strong street enforcer but yet he keeps getting his ass beat <laughs> it, it makes no sense and now he's the leader of uh, of of the bloodline currently he's trying to be the leader and it, it to me it just makes no sense honestly it, like it really makes no sense <laughs> No, I meant most NXT stars are higher rated than Theory. That's kind of just... No, no, no. Honestly, not really. Because like I said, Theory has been on a bad losing streak in the middle of the time between last year game and this year game. So he kind of did earn his rating that he has the way it is because Theory ain't really do enough. I mean, if if Theory did a lot more, won a lot more, you know, I, I could see it definitely. 
But yeah, some NXT stars was doing better than Theory. So, I mean, I'm not really mad about it. I just more feel like if they had Theory do better, he would have a higher rating. But at the same time, if you're not doing that good, then even some of the people in development of NXT will do will have a better rating at the end of the day because they're doing better. I mean, I get how they do their ratings. And some people, I do admit, I feel like it's kind of off. But some people did get what they got. I kind of feel, feel this new Solo with the gloves and he will get pushed Moon... Honestly, I hope so. Solo, what they need to start doing, Solo needs to start winning his matches. Because it's the only thing that's going to make this whole new, I'm um, the new leader of Bloodline thing, make sense. The fact that he's actually going to win matches and look like a dominant force. Because everybody's still thinking the same as me to where the man has been on a losing streak that doesn't make him convincing. So he needs to start winning in order to look convincing. And with Tom and with with Tom Matongo on the know, side, here, I definitely do see that happen. A bit of bad blood between you and Shotzi. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bad bad blood between us. I guess. I guess so. Not what I was expecting coming here today, but if she wants to start trouble, I'm more than happy to finish it. Yeah. I've heard all about that fighting spirit and attitude you bring to your matches. Isn't that a good thing? I mean. I've heard about your fighting spirit too, Justine. WWE champion mm -hmm. and legend comes back only to screw with her niece. Maybe not the best. Justine was an asshole in the, the last My Rise. WWE talent at NXT. It was very random. I mean, with Solo, I feel like we're gonna hear hear more from Solo down the line. It's just. Right now, they're really trying to play up the fact that Solo's supposed to be the next heir as the Tribal Chief, so they're trying to build it up slowly with the fact that it almost looks like he's pushing away Paul Heyman, even though Paul Heyman isn't leaving because Paul Heyman is originally with the Bloodline. But Paul Heyman's scared of shit of Solo, so I mean, that kind of helps the character a little bit more. And yeah, he does feel like he has more of a gimmick, better, better than just having his thumb. So I mean, let's give it time. A lot of a lot of these things with a lot of people need time so admittedly i do say give him a little bit and we'll see that solo because solo was some of the best interesting like style when he was in nxt he had more personality he brought out more of himself and he spoke a lot more nowadays he didn't get that much until now that he's trying to do his run so we're definitely going to see where that gets to I feel like the solo. I feel like the Usos might reunite just because he got kicked out of the group. But I feel like it's going to be some time because I don't see Jay instantly bringing them back with open arms. I feel like they're going to have to like make them run into each other. But it's going to be kind of difficult to see because so far through the draft, we noticed the Bloodline got drafted, but we did not see Jimmy picture on the Bloodline. It was only Solo, Tama, and and Paul. There was no Jimmy, so we don't know. If Jimmy gets drafted to Raw, then it's believable to see. But it it will it would kind of ruin the single run a bit that they've been doing with Jay because they've been really pushing Jay with this main event um, gimmick, but he hasn't main event enough to win a singles title, which is crazy. So we we definitely got to see what they do with that. But I, but I really don't want him to ruin Jay's single run. Funny. That's actually what got me my new job. Well, that and my decades worth of experience and unparalleled wisdom. Such as? <laughs> don't forget that in this business, you have to play a bit of politics and remember the long game. Sometimes letting bad blood fester can come back to bite you. I'm a bit of an expert on that. Makes sense. Another word of advice? This match that Shotzi made for you against Sally, don't hold back. Taking it easy on someone close to you won't do them any favors. Understood. All right, so let's get back on to this with the mind rise. So I got to I got to beat Psycho, but I got to make Psycho look good. So let's see how I can make Psycho look on here. See here, and they're doing a good job with making us interested in Tama Tonga. 
really love all the segments with Tom. Oh yeah, I love the segments with him too. They're really shot. making him a, a, a convincing right? force. Especially for the fact I'm that WWE's been the trying to sign um, Tom up for like here. 10 plus Although years. Still looking forward to the and, the fact, and the fact that the only reason Tonga hasn't that showed up really is because he wanted to stick to everything he's got? doing in, in New Japan. Plus, I'm confident that he can tell everything with Triple H. I'm not everything with Triple H. With Vince McMahon was kind of ugh. So I kind of respect the decision and the fact he finally showed up. Now we got someone like Triple H um, in control. It definitely shows that like he he's going to be he's going to be actually interesting more tables. than what Vince would have did Come with him. Which I'm pretty sure Vince wouldn't have made him this destructive. I'm confident he wouldn't have made him this destructive. <laughs> Alright, let me get a weapon real quick. Uh, let's get a chair. Let's start with a chair on there. Psycho's not doing too poorly oh, yeah. for herself either. With, 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 with Triple H now under control, it's like I I see a good I see a, I see like currently Triple H is bringing an era to where we're going to get a mixture of the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era. I feel like those two eras mixed together can make excellent TV nowadays. Cause the PG era wasn't Stop really doing shit, so honestly. Safe. It, it just didn't feel right. Got, T and the fact that now, that it's said that they're not doing T PG TV anymore. So that was even better. So we're gonna definitely get more of like actual emotion thrown into in, into the shits. Oh, come on. I was gonna throw, throw my chair out there. I can't throw the chair out there. Who put weapons under the ring for a WWE tryout? I didn't mean to hit Shotzi, but that just happened. <laughs> now Shotzi's gonna have real bad blood with me. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Let's see here. Today's area is gold. Just need to. Oh yeah, the theme songs are. We need if better theme. We, we need a better production when it comes to working on theme songs. Cause I do see the problem they was talking about. A lot of people have like a lot of generic style theme songs that you could find on anybody. And it's like, I admit Def Rebel has a few good ones, but a lot of them collectively, it's just dog shit, bro. Just dog shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure down the line they should bring in somebody somebody better, but we just gotta give it time. Wish I had my brass knuckles to throw them. All right, there we go. That should be it. And of course the ref slides her out. <laughs> Show me more, Miss T B D. I'd be happy to. Get in here. Yo, Shotzi got a lot of beef, bro. <laughs> was to take you on. <laughs> be my guest. We'll see how this ends. Ladies, ladies. This is unbecoming of a WWE tryout. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Would be cooler to lay her out right now. Try it. No, there'll be none of that. At least not without an audience. Ooh. Don't I count? Shotzi, you're in need of a tune-up match before your title opportunity against Bianca Belair. And our guest today is the perfect local talent we're looking for to face you. She'll push you. A real challenge. She certainly fits the bill to be my punching bag. If you're amenable, I'd like to book you on the next Raw. As a local talent? You are local, right? Yeah. I'm no tune-up match, though. But for a chance to settle this with Shotzi, I'm in. Fantastic. Love Regal gotta simple. keep setting them apart. <laughs> hey, Miss Psycho. <laughs> I'm impressed with your... What's the word? Moxie? That's it. I'm signing you to NXT. Hey, mission accomplished for you Psycho. Let's get it. <laughs> See, I'm happy about that. We, we we did exactly what we did. Psycho now got an option to... Now has the ability to get into NXT so she can hone her craft, which is dope. And I get to beat the shit out of Shotzi on Raw. Everybody wins. <laughs> It's literally their main catchphrase in a 2K custom. 
superstar 30 yo it really is <laughs> like like i never thought i would hear so much generic style theme songs in actual live tv is insane like i don't get it and, and i'm more wondering what happened to cfo cfo wasn't the best group of people but cfo at least made their music more unique and more like interesting to where you could tell the difference out of people why would why would death rebel they just sound basic as fuck bro like i i don't i really just don't know what happened and it it makes no sense i just hope that we get a better production team because everybody is just not it's not fuck with death rebel it's a music production team but uh, hopefully down the line they do get better ones though I can't believe you got into a fight, and that's how you get to debut on Raw. Very <laughs> funny. I'm not debuting on Raw. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just having a match. They asked me here to wrestle, and that I can do. Tell that to the millions of people who will be watching you wrestle on Raw for the first time from their homes tonight. Even if this opportunity doesn't mean the same to you, don't waste it. Why do you think I brought tinfoil to take home the food from catering? Oh yeah, I'm sure Death I'm Rebel serious. know they're bad, but so at this point I. they're thinking bring in a WB paycheck. That's over Listen, anything I else. Hear you, <laughs> but I also know why I'm here. Local talent almost never win these matches, but I do intend to make an impression. Hey, watch where you're going. Excuse my oblivious friend. Wait a minute, TBD? Yeah. I've heard of that. Welcome to Raw. Hey, got a welcome See, from Becky Lynch. Making That's good. an impression already. Oh, whatever. Good luck out there tonight. All right. Let's let's see if I could do something that I can't normally do, and that's a local win. Don't miss WWE Raw tonight. I'm competing in what's sure to be a super short but very divisive match against some local who I cannot wait to beat live on national TV. Oh, this is going to be fun beating the shit out of her. All right. I must say, hey, I, I respect them, man. Thank you for at least joining me on the stream and thank you for the follow. Um, I normally stream. I'm from America on the east side, so I normally stream on Sundays, Saturdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. While for me, it's usually around like 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern. So, I mean... If you always try to catch the streams around those times, shit, I'm always welcome for you to join back. But hey, have a good night. Thank you for for joining me and talking with talking with some wrestling, man. But the the vod will be here on Twitch as well as it be on my YouTube, Blay Franco Plays. So if you ever want to watch the rest of the stream, you're welcome to watch the replays on any one of those spots when you need to. Ooh, let's see here. Oh, this is going to be fun. I get to beat the shit out of a Shotzi. Oh, this is going to be fun. Tonight, it has rumored DDM is going is, is our opponent. Who? <laughs> I'm not mad at any of the women wrestlers who, who act like they don't know me, but it's, it's definitely going to be interesting when they get to find out who I am. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Getting settled here in Orlando, the Performance Center is amazing. They have locker rooms that aren't made out of curtains. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I'm happy Psycho got in. All right, man. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Hey, have a good night. All right. Ooh, and then we get to talk to Regal. Let's see what's it. up with Regal. Welcome to Raw. Hey, I love the fact, too, in this My Rise. You get William Regal is kind of like the mentor that you get to run into, like in both both of the worlds, and I feel that is awesome. William Regal is the best teacher to ever have if you're getting into the wrestling world. And you're welcome. You're lucky to have me. I'm gonna put on one hell of a show tonight. With an attitude like <laughs> that, I hope so. In any case, the show's not too far off from starting. I'd suggest getting changed into your gear. <laughs> I'm ready. You are wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> Not just any t-shirt. This very TBD t-shirt. A promotion I respected. 
I'm trying to go the babyface route, but so badly I want to say to make Shotzi mad. But we're going to stick to this and then we'll do the babyface thing on the next one. I'm proud to rep TBD. <laughs> if I'm going to have this opportunity, I want to also support something I believe in and share it with a larger audience. I get it. And I respect your passion. Tell you what, just don't tell anyone else we've talked about this. I know there are some who would want me to make you change. Change? Me? <laughs> you don't know me that well. Right then. Good luck out there. Okay. Well, at least I get to sneak out there with a shirt that they naturally won't let me. So this is going to be good. Let's let's go ahead and beat the shit out of Shotzi. I mean, debut on Raw. <laughs> but mainly beat the shit out of Shotzi. Like I said, I like Shotzi in real life. She's definitely an interesting character, but in the game, she's already stepping on my toes. And Shotzi's opponent, who comes to WWE with a reputation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb. I see she's repping a local promotion. Does her shirt say TBD? I know her. She's the captain. A bit of a legend on the indie circuit. I think she could give Shotzi some trouble tonight. All right. I like this. So at least they know of her. So that, that definitely brings some more interest into her, her debut tonight. We're TBD on whether this woman has what it takes to make it in WWE. Oh yeah, Dawn's ready, bruh. I like the little get-up setup all together. I mean, it's a matching, so it looks pretty good. I'll give her that. <laughs> Here comes Shotzi in the TCB tank, taking care of business. That's one thing I definitely do like. I like that they let her bring her tank onto the main roster. You never know what kind of thing Shotzi is gonna do to her opponents or even herself. You're absolutely right, Saxton. I mean, Shotzi shaved her head just to intimidate an opponent. Always willing to throw caution to the wind and do anything to win. I will say they don't let her ride her tank like out that far in, on actual TV, but I mean, in the game, I, I respect it at least. <laughs> One thing I could definitely say was cool with Shotzi. I like the fact that I heard Shotzi had got married and then showed up on a live event in her wedding gown to wrestle. I thought that shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Cause what other wrestler do you know gets married one day and hey guys, then comes out in the wrestling gown? <laughs> no, he comes out wrestling in your wedding gown on the next night. That's pretty that funny. Have scared off a mailman. <laughs> Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. All right. As this match gets underway, Shotzi's opponent is looking pretty confident for her first time on Raw. Even though she hasn't been in WWE before. Oh, I get the defeater too. Oh yeah. I'm getting the shit out of Shotzi. I'm, I'm making this a joke. I don't think this stage is going to phase her one bit. I don't know. I respect what she's done before this, but nothing can compare to the bright lights of WWE. At some point in this match, it will play a factor. I swear, it's a quality gut wrench. I do like the animation behind this gut wrench. Very gut nice. Suplex. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Precision knee. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Shotzi there. Dark. Shotzi is really falling behind. Destructive amount Shotzi's of work being done to Shotzi ass. right now. Uh oh! Face first, inverted STO. Come on, Shotzi. You said you was gonna make this a short match. I'm in, I'm the one making this a short match right now. Delivering a Uranagi. Come on, ref. Count, just count the three. She breaks the count quick. Oh, Not getting okay. A two she count got more fight. This point has to be frustrating. 
Oh, sorry, ref. Sorry, little Nate. Uh oh. And a suplex. Pick the leg. Oh, man. Yeah, let's pick the leg now. Just so I can tap her out and get this over Elbow with. Shout out to Johnny. You fucked up right now. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Good night. She's got the whole WWE Universe. I ain't gonna lie, I had more fun with making Dawn this year than I did in any other year. Because any other year, I made Dawn more of like a serious type of wrestler. This year, I made Dawn a little bit more playful, but still, still, still serious. So, you know, it's a good mix. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. But damn, Shotzi, Shotzi ain't holding up well against me at all. A second gut red suplex. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Yeah, girl, you gonna talk all that shit? Back it up. She ain't doing so well at it. No. Let's get you up. Let's deke that leg real fast. Now we got two finishers, so I got two chances of tapping up your eyes, just in case if you want to mess up one. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Evades the attack. Oh, uh oh. She could be setting up for a submission here. Oh, yo, I thought this standing submission was always one of the best looking submissions ever. Look at this. And good thing she got out of that. That would have been nasty. There we go. Now let's get some, get, let's get some of the stamina up. All right, all right, so she reversed one. New source of aggression to battle back with. That's fine. Sequence That's of fine. reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. And well, uh oh, this is not gonna now we got her. submission being applied. Oh, yeah, she's tapping. She's not even on the ropes. Dropping that leg, and the submission is sunk in. What's gonna happen? I can't believe and we tap out Shotzi after beating the dog shit out of her. That felt good. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like Shotzi is just as bewildered as us. I think furious is the word you're looking for. And Shotzi of course, there goes the attack. <laughs> to the outside, coming our way. A loss like this could put Shotzi's title opportunity against Bianca Belair at risk. Shotzi is relentless, but there's a reversal. <laughs> Shotzi mad as hell. Setting Shotzi up for something big here. We got to move. Come on, do it. And down through the table. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Raw debut. Oh yeah, you know you know right there what she's the getting signed. She got to. Sorry about the table, boys. But Shotzi asked for more from Miss TBD, so she got it. Thanks for the mic, Byron. And by the way, watch our show! <laughs> Well, that sure was something. For God's sake, hold on to your mic next time, Saxton. Wow, Byron, that's the most action you've seen in years. Yo, for real, <laughs> Byron Saxton just gets this. <laughs> you know, that was the craziest night for him. But yo, that was cool though, I like that. Oh boy, let's see what happens what backstage. What was that? We gotta go. Can't imagine the suits are gonna be too happy. Let's let this suit speak for himself. Uh oh. <laughs> shall we? Damn. Of all the impulsive, unhinged disasters I've witnessed in my career, my dear, that had to be one of the most excellent. Wait. What? Got low Regal. <laughs> you went out and defeated Shotzi. And then, when things went sideways, you kept your head, stood up for yourself, and made a memorable moment for everyone in the WWE Universe. Well done. So you'll still pay me then? You're not only getting paid. I'd like to offer you a full-time, 
All the, that that clearly said he was going to get an offer right there. With all due respect, I'm not sure if I'm the type of person you want working for you. You have a lot of assumptions about who we are and what we want. And with all due respect, I'd suggest letting us decide those things for ourselves. I heard how people responded, and I'm telling you, WWE wants you. I truly appreciate the offer, sir, but I... Can we have a moment? I don't really think we need to... Just give us a second. Why not? I'm just in the middle of a live show and trying to offer you a life-changing opportunity. But please, take your time. Yeah, can't waste this, bruh. Can't waste this opportunity in any way. <laughs> what a night. Didn't expect that at all. Dude, it was so cool. Oh, shit. DDM came to my home and invaded my ring. I never trusted her before, and I certainly don't trust her now. Yo, Shotzi's gonna hate me this whole gameplay. I can see it. OMG, I knew that DDM wouldn't disappoint us on Raw, but that was awesome. Please let me record. A, please l let the record affect that. I know DDM. She is my friend and I know her. <laughs> Give her all the flowers. Yeah, everybody definitely loved what they saw. They definitely loved that, that action. Looking for, for more crazy, amazing action like you saw from DDM on Raw tonight? Check out our next show. Now, that's good promotion, too. Definitely good promotion. But nice. That is definitely good. But let, let, let's see what Rose got to say. I'm pretty sure Rose is going to convince her to take the offer because it's like, you're not going to get this opportunity any other time, so you might as well take it now. So, so let's see what's up. I know that wasn't you about to tell William Regal no to a WWE contract. Wait, is this you telling me to say yes to William Regal in a WWE contract? <laughs> yeah, say yes to William Why Regal. Why wouldn't you sign? This one here, let's, this one sounds nice. Together with TBD, our mission. You know how much it means to me. I don't want to abandon TBD. And I don't want to abandon you. TBD isn't going anywhere. You think I'm going to let our momentum stop just because you get to go to the bigs? No way. Give it a chance. You hate it here, you come back home. But don't say no to the adventure. I mean, that is a, that is is a fair assumption. It's cool that Regal recognizes what I bring to the table. And that was only one match. You did that with what everyone assumed would be a quick victory for Shotzi. And you don't think this is selling out? Remember when we decided to start TBD? Of course I do. As much as I wish I could forget that show, that promoter had such a narrow vision of what wrestling should be. And we sat down at that diner and decided if we ever started a promotion, we would let all kinds of people with all types of ideas get in the ring and fight literally for their vision. Yeah, we were very idealistic before we had to pay bills. <laughs> Remember those contracts we signed with each other on those diner napkins? But we did follow through on all of those plans. Aside from coming up with a name besides TBD, of course. My point mm. is, we had a mission. Still do. And now, you're getting a very real chance to take your vision to a company that has more reach than anyone else. Do you really want to make a difference and change this industry into what you think it could be? You can't say no. Guess I have to find Regal and tell them yes then. I'll let you get to it. Just don't big time us when you come home to visit, okay? <laughs> no promises. <laughs> I like that. Nice. So even with the support, my girl saying, screw it, let's sign with WWE. I mean, honestly, why wouldn't you not sign with WWE? Yeah, you're coming from, a, from from an indie promotion you put a lot of heart into, but let's face it. You just went out there, faced somebody that's already been on contract for years at that. Someone that has an opportunity and gets a champion, and you just whooped her ass in a match that they thought she was going to beat you real quick. You beat the dog shit out of her, and you showed out by putting her through the announcement table after the match, even when she tried to attack you. That right there says main eventer right there. If not, that just says clear main eventer. 
that is debut material that if you saw on any bit of live TV with Raw or SmackDown, you would be heads and toes waiting to see when the next time you're going to see her. It'll, it'll literally make no sense to not sign somebody that puts that much impact in their one match when they were supposed to be a local tune-up. So shit, you might as well sign. I don't know why you wouldn't. That's a dumb idea not to sign. There she is, the so-called captain who came out of nowhere to defeat Shotzi and earn a raw contract. Came out of nowhere for you, maybe, but anyone who's been paying attention to the independent wrestling scene knows this woman has been a champion and a cornerstone of the promotion known as TBD for quite some time. WWE and Raw are lucky to have her. Nice, nice. So now, after a fun debut against somebody who hated her, now she's going to hate her more. Now she's signed to the company, and here's bitch-ass Troy, I swear to God. I hate looking at Troy's face. I was so happy we finally got to attack Troy um, during the WrestleMania weekend for, for Franco. I just hope he's not this annoying when it comes to the female road. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to Raw. Big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a longtime admirer ever since we got word last week. It's a quick pivot to squeeze you in, but we're used to things changing fast around here. Not a problem at all. Didn't think it would be? I'm Troy Simkin. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite WWE producer. No. I don't think I have. Hmm. Are you not mingling with your peers? That's kind of a must do around here. Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? Thanks. But before we get <laughs> sidetracked, what I was getting at is we already have a few ideas of how to use you. But we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. Could have sworn it was Cat. Oh, well. We'll see where we land with the name. Troy's already pissed me off already. I just got... She just got there, my dude. Come on. <laughs> well, we already see Dawn's going to have some fun here on Raw. Especially dealing with someone like Troy is going to be very interesting. So, so let's see where we go from here. But so far, I like it. Like I said... I like the women's story so far better than the men's story. It's more interesting, more appealing, and look at that. Already on, on, on the poster. Now, that's a good look. Honestly, that is. Nice, nice. So, we got a My Faction Award. We got the TBD shirts. We got the TBD Arena. And we got the TBD Championship. Already a good start. All right, so of course, since we're still fresh in the stream, we're gonna keep moving with this. We see we already got a lot of different stories to hop into. Okay, okay, I like that. And we already got an optional story as well. So this is definitely gonna be interesting. Okay, how the story progress? All right, so yeah, we got three story progress here. We got Count Vampire, Power of the Press, Do the Work. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the so the four ring story one is gonna be are we having fun yet? So I gotta watch out for that one. All right, let's do this. Now, just like the melds one, I'm going to try to see if I can do as much story as uh, objectives as I can. So not only to improve her, but you know, see all sides of the story. Cause I that's one thing I do like with my rise. I like taking the time to see what all the stories is gonna look like. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's add a little bit to the running. We're already at 86, so it should be good. All right, so before we do any of these main stories, well, semi-main stories, let's go ahead and talk to Justine real quick. See what she got to tell us. What are you doing here? Working raw too now? Nah, just in the neighborhood. But since I am here, anything I can help you with? Happy to walk you through how things work around here. 
I'd appreciate that. There's no shame in admitting that while I know what I'm doing in the ring, the backstage politics of this place are a bit intimidating. <laughs> That's a feature, not a flaw. But honestly, it's probably the same as you're used to at any indie event. Use the time before any show to change your gear and level up your skills. And most importantly, don't forget to check your social media and talk to people backstage. That's pretty much how all opportunities around here come about. Makes okay. sense. Is that it? Pretty much. Check your social media and talk to people and you'll find yourself in matches and rivalries in no time. Just remember that once you agree to do something, you'll have to see it through before you can turn your focus to something else. All right, Happy that's that. fair. Thanks, Justine. No problem. Good luck, superstar. Another thing I do like with the fact that, like, what you get in uh, real life WB is that they added the fact that, like, they stopped focusing on calling everybody superstars and sports entertainers, and they've gone back to focusing on the fact that this is wrestling, and everybody's called a wrestler now, to where the word is not banned or treated like shit. Being a wrestler is not a bad thing anymore in WB. So that's another thing I do like with the new regime of Triple H. We're getting the feel of wrestling and wrestlers more than bullshit nowadays. So that's good. All right, we got some with Nikki Cross. Let's start with this. Opportunity of a lifetime. Got your attention? I know WB can be stressful competing on the biggest stage against the world's best. Yikes. One thing that really helped me with this new breath work and meditation app, it's amazing, you gotta try. Is this a scam? Nikki, you might have gone, gotten hacked. Not hacked, really me, I'm serious. It's literally the best thing ever. It completely changed my entire way I breathe. Inhale, exhale, repeat. Wasn't working for you? Ha, you mean unelegated pandering? Just wait. You'll see. I'll send you a discount code. Just let me know if unused. Limited supply. I'll be your secret weapon for your next match. Guaranteed. Sure, why not? <laughs> I guess I don't have anything to lose. If you say it's great, I might as well see what the, all the fuss is. Send me the code. Great. I'll set up an account for you. Look out for an email with a download link from the app. Just enter code Nikki. Can't wait to hear you. Can't, can't wait to hear what you think. Can't wait to find out how incorrectly I've been briefing. You have no idea. Enjoy. <laughs> Nikki Cross is forever the, this weird, crazy girl, bro. But that's one thing I've always liked with Nikki Cross that always made me feel like she was very engaging. But all right, let's see what this road of breathing comes from with Nikki Cross. I really like too that they got you on the poster of Raw, well the banner, so it's like you've already seen she's a premier star and she just got there. Commanding the ring and forging her path, the captain! The following contest is scheduled for one Now here she is with her actual gear, with her actual entrance, looks much better. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who's earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. Oh, yeah. Definitely works out very well. I admit, I was thinking about adding some more tattoos to her, but I originally never put that tattoos on her, so this is also the first year that with her up-to-date look, I decided to say fuck it, let's throw some tats on there. Not too much, but you can see there's a couple on there. The captain is ready to call the shots. And I kind of like using the Peyton Royce um, Iconics entrance. It, it definitely suits her. I was originally going to use the page, page entrance, but I couldn't find it. Only because I didn't spend time finding it, but Quite the Iconics entrance definitely works for her. Kendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Okay. But Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. 
Yo, I, I, I swear to Cora J does give off a vibe like she could be the secret child from for, for CM Punk and, a, and AJ Lee. She definitely looks like it. <laughs> and honestly, I've always been impressed with her with her work. I know right now she's technically injured, but man, I can't wait for her to get back onto the roster because I definitely feel like she would have yeah, been on the Raw roster by now, too. Of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. All right, let's Cora get it. Jade finds herself squaring off against a newly focused and mindful opponent in Cap. Yeah, I heard she's recently embraced meditation and is looking to reach an entirely new plane of wrestling out there. Well, her cheese may be aligned now, but after Cora Jade's through with her, I doubt they'll stay that way. Oh, no, nah, she's going to be very relaxed once she gets the victory over the board. I'm not going to try to treat her like I did, did with them shots here. Things taking a turn but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna Cora, make this a uh, match to where it's gonna be too competitive. Oh no, no, no! Fuck, that was on me. Yeah, Core J is You're definitely gonna be boot. more competition than Shotzi. The throat in the corner. I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. All right, let me so focus though, because I, 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 I know I'm gonna lose real fast if I don't she focus. She kicks out with authority. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Pick the leg. Oh man! There we go. Picking the leg. Oh, Gotta work that body part. Perfect kick. By the elbow drop to the knee. You can tell down the line that the, those leg attacks is going to be my favorite. It's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. It's definitely working. Jade is definitely getting injured very quickly from these leg attacks. This match could still go either way. Got it scouted. And Jade's caught with a reversal. I admit, I'd be guessing the shit out of trying to hit these breakers. But I do like it as a reversal though. It's a, it's a good difference into the reversal system. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Jay must be phased after this string of action. Core is getting knocked back at every turn. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Alright, don't reverse this. Nice. Shot block. Alright, this might be a, a quick victory on, on Cora. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Get it to the middle. Get it to the middle. There we go. It could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Now it's time for Dawn for greatness, especially since already injuring the legs. Is this, is, this is another Leg easy victory. Contorted. Oh, man. And reps. Nice work. Cora did give me a fight, though, fairly enough. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. See, I got Dawn looking very skilled in the ring. So Cora Jade comes out on the losing end here. I'm sure excuses are already flooding the head of Cora. Now, I don't know about excuses, but I'm sure revenge is brewing. Nice, nice. Let's see, let's see what's gonna happen from here with Nikki. But that was a that was a good matchup to showcase on Raw. Victory, our breath work app has transformed DDM's game. Anyone else feels feels like harassing? No, feel like harnessing the power within? Unleash focus, conquer challenges, dominate in the ring and out. Hit me up for a link. Have to admit, I'd feel a bitch. I feel a bit. No, I did feel a little stronger. My fault. I was fucking on my reading. Intrigued. I'll absolutely give it a try. Setting up accounts for both of you. Look out for an email. Well, I well at least it's obvious Nikki's trying to use me as like a promotion deal for her app. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to sell an app, right? All right, where we go from here? Oh, and Ava, our favorite from the My Rises. I honestly always liked Ava throughout the My Rises, though. 
Definitely somebody that I wish was a real life um, wrestler because she definitely fits the bill as one. So, sounds like Nikki's got you hooked on the breath app too? It did seem to help me in my last match. I like it. I'm not sure I'd say I'm hooked. Oh, you'll get hooked. The whole thing's a pyramid scheme. Of course it is. The meditation app? The one that trains you to breathe? That's how it starts. Before long, I was breathing all the time. Now that I'm nearly the diamond level, I don't think I could stop breathing if I tried. It sounds so weird to say that, like breathing is not a normal thing humans have to do regardless, but okay. That just sounds like basic <laughs> biology. But if it's bothering you that much, and you're really worried it's some sort of pyramid scheme, why don't you just quit? Oh no, let me be clear. I don't care that it's a pyramid scheme, as long as I'm at the top. Of Plus, course. a diamond level, there are a ton of new perks. All I've got to do is sign up a couple more people. I know we're technically sisters of the breath, but if you try to cop any of my referrals, I will drop you. Oh boy. All good. I'm just in it for the breathing. You sound so gold level right now. <laughs> I hate that. I, I hate any any scheme thing that involves like you get to a certain level when you do a certain amount of shit. It's like you put too much hype on your head, bro. Chill. Level up. Experience the extraordinary power of our meditation apps. Diamond level. I've unlocked its incredible benefits and it's mind blowing. Let me know if you want it. Join our exclusive community now. Yo, Nikki Cross obviously shows she's way more focused on to selling whatever this app is than getting back in the ring, but okay. First, give me that code. Yes, please. I'm down. <laughs> God damn it, she joined in. Diamond, yes, yes, yes. Lots of requests. No, no surprise. How about this? Sign up 15 friends and also win a battle royal. Winner gets the code. Good luck. Hashtag breathing. When did yo, okay. When did the app seem to dictate what you gotta do in the ring? That's a little much. Nikki Cross is taking this shit too much to the head, but I guess what sells, right? <laughs> yo, this is an interesting first side story to get into, bro. Very interesting. <laughs> but like I said, it's a little bit more engaging than the mail, so I'll take it. It's cool. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following contest is a six-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dawn Dynamic Matoda. The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just going to have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts. We'll see. Hmm. Sorry. Samantha Irving, always a great announcer. Truly one of my favorite announcers that WWE has ever brought in for a long time. So I'm definitely down to see. I definitely, I definitely enjoy that announcement she gets to do on my character. All right, but just like, just like in the last my rise with with my male character, we're not going to listen too much to the announcements or watch the entrances too much. So there will be times I'm going to skip them just to follow through in the story. But right now, we're going for a while. We're going to keep taking a look because I do like her entrance. Here comes Ava. First, from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno! Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. I'm still mad that we can't, we're, like, a, I'm still going to say this as a beef. 2K community, for love of, no, 2K in general, for the love of God, allow the My Rise characters to be usable in other modes other than my faction. Talented competitor. I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. I would love to throw it into my universe mode when I get started onto that. I'm I'm purposely playing through this these modes before I get started onto that. Here comes danger in a small package. Focused, determined, and dangerous. Yeah, and just looking for her moment to strike and shine in this division. Uh, 
uh, I'm so mad that, that my girl Zia Lee got released, bro. It's uh, Zia Lee's another one of those people that felt like never got a real fair push during the new era. Ozaya has an impressive martial arts background. Ozaya certainly well versed in the art of combat. The protector has arrived. I, I really wish they like just just like um Cameron Grimes. I wish they gave Zaya more of a time to be impressive in the new era because I feel like she would work in this new era. That would be. But I do hope in the future she goes somewhere that that uses utilizes her perfectly because she's talented. She's very skilled. I just feel like she just needs that little push of improvement, and you know she would be a one all over. Zoya might Selena, be little, of course. but she is fierce. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega! Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. I would say Zelina has definitely showed out, especially after the Puerto Rico backlash. She showed out a lot over there, but but you know, I admit, I don't know what much they can do. I will admit though, she does add a lot to the LWO. She does add interest, so hopefully there's still some more to come out of that. But Tia Knox, that's another person who definitely got shows out more after her, her multiple the injuries. Dragon herself. She got a lot to showcase to people. But to be honest, personally, personally, I don't really care for for, for Tegan. I don't know. There's nothing. Tegan doesn't give something interesting or unique about her. This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. Yeah, and even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. I will say I do feel bad for Tegan having all those injuries. Those amount of injuries will always cut down anybody's hype in the wrestling ring. But like I said, I don't ever see none really engaging or unique with Tika Knox, so it's really hard for me to say if I really enjoy her or not. Now the party can really start. Huh. I just hope I'm oh, gonna find it this time. Byron, you're never I didn't know they had a separate video for Kaden like Carter. Ever, ever. And Jeez, from Michael. the Philippines, Kaden Carter! Well, Kaden Carter was trained by some of the toughest hardcore wrestlers around then honed her skills in Mexico and trained in Lucha Libre as well. Now, all that training very evident in Caden's unique style. I really like that. That's unique because, like, we haven't seen this on TV yet. I'm, ki I'm kind of waiting to see when they start letting Caden Carter go on a solo run because I'm not going to lie. The tag team is good. The tag team has been interesting, but I really want to see what they I do in single so runs impressed by Carter's dedication and Katie Carter has really gotten my, my interest a lot so I want to see what she does in single runs whenever she competes plus her moveset in the game Six very good I'm going to go ahead and get in this you know back in the day I got in the ring for some silly reasons but this one might top them all Looks like someone hasn't reached Emerald level yet. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Okay, so this is an over-the-top battle royale. All right. I thought it was going to be an elimination by, by like, pinfall or cement. But okay, I can work with this. Turns that back on Zelina. What I hate is the targeting system keeps moving, and I'm not moving the targeting system. It's doing it on its own. Side rush and leg sweep. Takedown. And... And heavy hands to practically never ending blow. Right, come on, come come on. get up. Force here. She's on one step. Beautiful takedown, idiot. Broad scratching, doing whatever it takes. She will not let this match mm -hmm. end. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That's right, this is 
thinking he's winning. And Lee wasn't showing any mercy there. Caden put a hurting on him with that one. Oh, and this float over your Nagi. Right, right onto the Zaya Lee. We know Zelina Vega himself. Well placed elbow to break up the middle. God damn. Ava just speared the shit out of him. Alright, this might be a harder battle run than I thought. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but I will say I hate the fact of how quick the AI is on to want to switch on to you. It definitely makes it difficult for any of these multi-person matchups. Making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. Nope, too early for that. She responds with a counter. I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Nice bulldog. Oh, shit. Like I said, I always hate with these multi-person matchups where it's like the AI makes it completely difficult for you to just focus on either one person if you wanted to. You literally got to be quick to watch every person who, who, who comes in the match. Ooh, all right, let's take advantage of this. Get Tegan Knox out of here. Able to capitalize on Ava's mistake. Oh, okay. She's quick. Man, my, my girl Zia Lee's already eliminated. But at the end of the day, I, 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 I can't I can't support them. I gotta support my, my person only. But I can, but can we agree? One thing 2K has definitely done good at least. All the women look really good in the game. They they, they don't look underwhelming. They don't look like. They was they was barely made. They don't look basically created. They all look unique, good, and realistic at that. We usually only got that with the men, but now the women actually gets the two now, and it looks good. Nice escape. Okay. Back and forth from these competitors, and back into the ring she goes. Wow, that can rock you. All right, we got to lower these numbers in here. Drop him with a nice DDT. Okay, come on. Let's get Ava out of here. And Avon is eliminated. Now we're down to three. She's losing some steam now. Dawn, Caden, and Zelina. Ooh, but Caden whooped my ass there. This is why I said I, I really want to see Caden Carter go, go solo. She, she she shows a lot of aggression and a lot of uniqueness, too, in her movesets. Right on the patella. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. And, and, and I, will, I will admit to say it. I've definitely been more interested in her than um, her tag team partner, Katana. Katana, yeah, sure, she gives the she got a very athletic like style, but it, it comes off basic compared to everybody else. Hayden Carter, on the other hand, she she comes off interesting. Like there's more to her that we get to, that we can see if we give her a chance. No, no, no. Get the fuck off me. Create separation. She does so. Oh, I'd love to see this. Into a hammerlock flatliner. Come on. Go ahead, Eliminator. Get her out the ring. Nice. All right, now we're just us two. Bam. Hit her with the signature. Sorry, Caden. I'm happy you made it to the end with me, but you got to go. Oh, Ooh, okay, okay. She's still in this. She, she ain't going out easy. I respect it. She turns it around on Carter. Down with the bulldog. Oh, 
Hit her with the combo. And just hurry up to get her up and throw out the ring while she's done. Perfect. That was a good battle royal, honestly. Very good. And I am happy one of my favorites within this match didn't make it to the end with me. Whether her or Zia Lee would definitely have been the two I would have liked to end, end off that match with. Here is your winner, dynamic, that bitch and dynamic. <laughs> with that win, gentlemen, they got it done. She worked hard for this win, and now she gets to enjoy the payoff. Absolutely. You love to see someone's determination come to fruition like this. Oh yeah, definitely very good match. Very skilled. Alright, that was fun. That definitely was fun. But that's why I said I want to see Caden Carter go solo. I want to see what she can do solo. Because I will admit, I feel like the tag team run has ran its course. I don't know what else you could really do with these two as a team, but I just feel like it ran its course. Have you managed to sign anyone up to the app yet? Or are you still just a fledgling gasper? A what? No, I just use the app. I'm not into all the hunting for recruits and everything. Great. Then who do you know who might want to use the program? And will you give me their emails, phone numbers, addresses, and social security numbers if you have them? Well, goddamn, Ava, you sound like, a, sound like one of those India scammers that be going too far, bro. Chill. It's just a breathing app. Um, no. Come on, Cap. You're messing with my livelihood here. Your livelihood? You're a wrestler, last I checked. For now? But for how long? This could be my career post-WWE. A pyramid scheme is never a good idea to have as a post-career, ever. A pyramid scheme? Take that back. You don't use those terms. Those terms are forbidden among the breathers. Who told you this was a pyramid scheme? You did, bitch! You, a week ago. A week's a long time. I'm gonna get to diamond level, and now I understand the app's vision. Picture it. A world where everyone, everywhere, no matter their background or income, breathing. There is, let me just set this record straight. There is a million breathing apps out there. There's a million meditation apps and programs that people can use that is both free and pay for but the fact of this one being so far of a pyramid scheme is insane it's just not only that are you even getting paid for this diamond level that's the better thing i need to know are you getting paid for this shit <laughs> isn't everyone already breathing not properly they don't know the outsiders don't know the true power of the breath okay i have to be honest with you you're making this whole thing sound really crazy if this is what the app is doing to people, I think I'm just going to breathe on my own. Then I can no longer speak with you. I must sever all connections with outsiders because they are not one with the breath and therefore hinder my path to enlightenment and disrupt the harmony within our sacred community. Oh, yeah, bitch, you hooked. You are solely hardcore hooked. No. You've severed all connection with reality. And I hate to tell you this, but you're in a cult. That word is even more forbidden than pyramid scheme. It is my sacred duty to defend my sisters of the breath. You and me, in the ring, now! Try not to pop every <laughs> blood vessel before we even get there. Yo, for real, my girl is mad as hell that I've called her out on, this, on her cult. You're in a cult that is trying to get everybody onto a meditation lifestyle that literally is not that serious. But okay. I'll beat the shit out of you, and then after that, you could breathe somewhere else, because this is just stupid. <laughs> it's very funny, but God, this is stupid. <laughs> oh, man. I'll All right, so we've seen our two, so I'm going to skip these through after announcements of each of others. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. 
Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. I hate how much Corey Graves sound like a hater in both my rises. Like, nigga, chill. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. All right, let's go ahead and get this match started. Takes to Let me help you breathe a little bit more. Against Cap in the center. Saxton, it might be time for an intervention. If you just use the link I sent. Let's keep our focus in the ring, gentlemen. Oh, damn it. Brian, By Byron Saxton's even a part of this pyramid scheme bullshit. <laughs> Almost thought it was just with the women wrestlers. I guess some of the guys is into it too. Second gut wrench suplex. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Caught with a cutter. That was a quality cutter. I always, you know always love that, that. that style of cutter. The TKO kick. is definitely She's an underrated move. Here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Yeah, Ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Oh, yeah, you got to throw in the taunt. It's the only thing. It's the only thing that's right. Oh, and now it's working on his leg. Grief! Over and over. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Oh, okay, okay. There. Able to capitalize on Ava's mistake. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. That was just wrong. That wasn't that you dirty. Be a better person than that. <laughs> You're an Augie. See, this is why I like how I made Dawn. Like, don't get me wrong. I can make Franco focus on, like, body attacks a lot more, like how she Dawn does. Out, but this one can be I feel like I made Cal. Dawn more properly for that. Into a distressing spot. This Franco just wants to beat you down. Be to the test. Dawn just likes to break you into pieces. And they both could do it. The ring. Elbow to the leg, and look at this, just attacking the knee. Taking out the knee. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Oh, yeah, that leg is weak. We already got that set up perfectly right now. And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Ava's cage might be a bit rattled at this point. Boom! Stomping down! But I will say, I like the animations that, that WWE has definitely fixed up on in the game. Definitely looks a little more Pick realistic. Oh, man. Everybody got, got better Damn movement and everything. She might it, be it just works the leg at this point. Especially how they bounce off the ropes. I love how they look when they bounce off the ropes. Definitely more realistic as they bounce off the ropes. Oh, perfect. Shock in the arena after that kick out. All right, don't reverse this. Oh, she didn't reverse it. All right, this match is done. And this time, Dawn for greatness. Didn't have a chance, Ava. Focus on your breathing more than your wrestling. You obviously seem to be better at that. But look at the quality of this submission. big win and the celebration has begun that's why they call it light work Cole barely even broke a sweat oh yeah that, that that's how you know that was an easy matchup now she can focus on her cult and I'll focus on being one of the best wrestlers in the ring fair trade fair trade but that was definitely good also as you guys see I'm wearing my favorite jersey my DBZ fighters. R.I.P. Akira Tozawa. Oh, I'm sorry. God damn. I was about to fuck up his name. R.I.P. Toriyama. The creator of, of Dragon Ball Z and many other animes.
Oh shit, I okay, they're 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 just going. I was gonna start reading it, but they already sped through. Let me go back up. Sorry about the tension with Ava Marino. Community heart harmony matters. Anyway, glad you're loving the app, but why haven't you signed up any new users? Need help with a referral system? Let's schedule a training. Being a breath ambassador is vital. Let's help the world breathe. I need to beat the shit out of Nikki Cross. She's next. The world is breathing fine. The only problem is that this crazy breathing cult pyramid scheme you got everyone wrapped in. I heard you felt that way, but refused to believe it. You're making a lot of enemies. If you're not going to breathe with us, at the very least, use your nose and keep your mouth shut. Don't get in the way of our respiratory renewal or else or else what your app has caused enough harm end it or end you you're so confident let me take on you and your breathing in the ring if i win you abandon this nonsense unless you're afraid your app hasn't truly helped you as you claim i'm powered by inhalement inspiration i can't lose and when i win you agree to leave me and my brothers and sisters of the breath alone don't hold your breath. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> the breathing puns, I love it. <laughs> I like how they put a lot of work into these breathing puns. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> hey, yo. All right. Yeah, let me beat the shit out of Nikki Cross because this is ridiculous. Yo, this breathing app has put up too many people like Bringing in a zone that makes no sense. To the WWE ring. It's Cap. I do like her video though. It's scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb dynamic Matoda. Cap looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. And she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and work on our logo for a nameplate just so the name showcase better on the video. Because every time I look at it, it doesn't bother me, but I know I can do better. I just, I've been lazy on making her logo maker thing, so I need to do that. All right, Nikki, bring your ass out here. I wonder how Nikki Cross looks in here. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for yes, some Yes, we got we got my favorite Nikki Cross, the crazy Nikki Cross. Glasgow, Scotland. Nikki Cross. The superheroes flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. Let me just say this. I hated the superhero Nikki Cross. It was stupid. It looked retarded. I hate the fact that for some reason, Vince made that an idea to change her whole persona to a superhero. And the weirdest part about it, I hate the fact that that was the only time that they wanted to make her a women's champion. You're telling me you couldn't make her a women's champion during this whole crazy Nikki Cross, the best looking Nikki Cross, but you made her a women's champion when she was the pretend superhero. Maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. What the fuck? Like, what the actual fuck? I hate, yo, that shit was so stupid. I hated that, man. We've got a breathtaking show. Look, I hope Triple H never brings that shit back. Because I, I like this Nikki ten really times better. Reach. It's embarrassing how a multi level marketing thing has led someone to wanting to throw down over a lack of sign ups. Let's just all remember how easy it is to get wrapped up in stuff like this. It can happen to anybody. Ooh. Not only that, it's like, you don't see much aggression from women on the, on the women roster. So it's like, that's another thing I like with Nikki Cross. She brought a style that everybody else wasn't doing. Or wasn't trying to do on the, on the normal basis. Well, damn. For someone definitely shorter than me, she definitely trying to whoop my ass. <laughs> Ooh, she just turned it around. There's a combo of strikes. Wow. Every strike more devastating than the last. All right, let's work those legs out. Dragon screw, beautiful. Plenty of hits coming her way now. As well as fucking injured that head. 
But yet, yeah, Nikki, you deserve this as a the, the fact you got everybody a part of a cult is crazy. Just caught flush. And Nikki Cross is on the downside of things. Cross is going to have to dig down deep here. Oh, Nikki Cross manages to counter. Oh, I will say. Shit. I was definitely a supporter of Nikki Cross when she was in NXT. I wanted her to be the NXT Women's Champion. I felt like she could have added a di dynamic to the roster that people was not going to be prepared for. And I do want her to become Women's Champion again on the main roster with, with this crazy persona. Because I feel like Nikki, I feel like crazy Nikki as a Women's Champion, it'll be a reminder of like Tommaso Ciampa when he became NXT Champion. He, he fell so in love with the belt, he started count. He, he named the belt and everything. He was clinching it like it was life or death. Like, that was good. Oh, man. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and get her up. back up, but she might be down again soon. Let's injure this leg. Right to the leg. Shoulders down. Let's see you get up from that. Ref, move your ass. She kicks out with force. I still hate how the camera angle leads to the point of the ref match. mooning the, the, the camera. Like, ref, get the fuck out the camera. Come on. Slider to the middle. There we go. Okay, okay. Of course, Nikki ain't going down without a fight. I respect it. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now that's something you'll definitely see in the NBA setup. <laughs> Vicious knee. Under All the right, bottom rope. This won't end well. Oh, no. Right across the back of the neck. And Nikki Cross is on the downside of things. Cross is going to have to dig. Oh yeah, I definitely how, like how I made Dawn. Dawn is just perfect at beating Nikki the shit out of her opponents right now. This crowd into getting into this match. Come on. Come on in, Nikki. You know you want to. Come on. I don't do dives with Dawn, so you ain't gonna have her dive out on me. Look out! Okay, I lied. <laughs> You're rarely gonna have her dive out on people. And the explosion occurring ringside throws her back in from ringside. All right. Oh, okay. She got. She got out of it. She has to figure something out for this. That's fine, that's and fine. Now I got to weaken it for the other one. Being Boom. I feel like that neckbreaker should do it. Yep, the neckbreaker did it, though. Victory. Okay, okay. She held her own, though. She, now, Nikki held her own a little bit, but... Dom just too good, bro. You could definitely say I have a skill with making some good characters. Seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Losing like this would demoralize a normal superstar, but lucky for Nikki, she's far from normal. I will say, when I when I make my characters, I do like to try to make my characters with a with a lot of like realism. Like I like to make my characters look like people that you would actually see in the wrestling business. Because like I would want them to have that unique of a look. And once I start making some more characters, which I'm going to this year. You're going, you're going to see it. You're going to see a lot of interesting designs. Who knows? I might start doing some streams um, outside of my rise and start doing some streams where I'll showcase creating some of these characters. You know, if you guys are interested, of course, because I wouldn't mind. I honestly wouldn't mind. Plus, it will help me fill out my universe roster as well, because I like to have my universe roster with a lot of actual people and a lot of creative people just for the roster. And trust me, I got a lot of ideas. I made a lot of people in the past. I'm definitely looking forward to bring them back. All right, we got through that story. Let's go ahead and level her up a little bit. We'll put a little bit into her strikes. And let's let's see what social media tells us. WWE. <laughs> Attention all wrestlers involved in, the, in a new meditation app. As law enforcement inflates their investigation, no, initiates their investigations into what happens, what appears to be a cult-like situation, 
Expect requests to provide relevant information. Your cooperation is crucial. Like I thought, <laughs> this app now just got everybody else in trouble. <laughs> Happy first day of Raw. Last week didn't count. You're not local anymore. Call me after. I'm going to need all the gossip. Okay, okay. So we already got a good start off. So now let's go ahead and head to one of these side stories. Uh, who we want to start with? Who we want to start with? Uh, you know what? Let's start with Carmella. We haven't seen her much, so let's 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 see what's good with Carmella. It's so amazing that I get to be part of your WWE story. You're welcome. Excuse me? Your debut was fire. Wearing that TBD shirt and grabbing the mic from Saxton. And I'm obviously always part of anything that's fire around here. So I'm gonna be your tag team partner. Oh god. Actually, that's not a bad idea. It'd be smart for me to get some momentum in a tag match or two. I'm in. Great, because Troy already okayed it, and he's setting up a match. B-T-T-F. What? Best tag team forever? Don't worry, you'll catch on. Oh, boy. All right, well, at least it looks like I'll get a couple of shirts from this, so let, let's see. The good thing it doesn't stray me away from the main story, so I'm definitely interested to see what this side story is going to come up with. Like I said, I'm not I'm personally not into tag team matches too much, but this should this should put provide some interest in here. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following contest is a tag match set for one of them. Introducing first from the Philippines, Dumb Dynamic Matoda! The look of determination on Cap's I, I can listen to Samantha do the announcements all day, every day, bro. Greatest, one of the best the announcers. I'm going to keep saying WWE. that. It's good to have goals, but we're just going to have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts. Corey, you should be supportive. I'm teaming up with your, with your girlfriend or I think wife by now. I want to believe. Okay. She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Okay. They've done pretty well with Carmelo in this one. I'll, I'll give them that. She calls herself the most beautiful woman. I'll personally say I don't see her as the most beautiful. WWE. She looks good, and but I wouldn't call her the most beautiful. That's just me. Internet, where's the lie? She has won the SmackDown Women's Championship, Money in the Bank, the WrestleMania Battle Royal, Mixed Match Challenge, the Women's Tag Team Championship. Shall I go on? Okay, okay. I have to admit, she truly is untouchable. Oh yeah, Carmella, I'll still give her props. Carmella's done a lot in, in WWE, and she's done very well for her career. Even if she, she was to like retire right now, but I'm pretty sure she got some more in the tank. I don't know what's up with her though. I don't know if she's injured or something right now, but we, we haven't seen her. Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. Sonya is another one that, like, I feel like she's done all right. She's not one of the best, but she's done pretty well. I don't know what's up with her right Sonya now, though. We haven't seen her in a while. Fight and is ready well, hopefully she's not stuck with an injury. So well versed in submissions and ground and pound with her MMA background. And we are about to see it in action. I, I will say you could tell the laziness in her entrance though. Her entrance is still is, is still whatever older given. Is there anybody meaner than Tamina? 
No Where has she been? No, seriously. Where the fuck has Tamina been? Tamina spent the last decade and a half beating people up and making a lot of money. Tamina on the real? I feel like no Tamina by now should have been the first to woman a part of the bloodline. The but it's like, where the hell has she been? Listen, there ain't nobody meaner than Tamina and nobody tougher either. I'm really more amazed she's still on the roster just because the lack of Tamina tonight? on the TV screens. Why in the world is she teaming with this superstar? Who knows? There might be some chemistry revealed here. Oh shit, uh, all right. Has had bigger Let me focus. Sonya's already pen. trying to put an ass beat onto me early. Kick out before the one count. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Yikes. Okay, so I have to win the match with Captain. So this should be too hard. I'm gonna try to ta tag in um song. I mean Carmella. So I'll I'll try to engage in tag team. Don't want to, but I'll, I'll try to. Yeah, Sonya's getting her ass beat, bro. Great athleticism. She's beginning to flag a little. Whoa! Oh, Scott! Ooh, I was going to catch it with that. There's going to be some second guessing about trying that move again. Turning the tables. Drop kick to the knee. Oh. Sonya's lost any momentum here. Sonya keeps getting cut down. Yeah, Sonya, you ain't going to be able to match up to Dawn. Toss back into the ring. Tag is made, and here we go. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Ooh, driving down with the axe handle. You, get, get out this ring. Oh, you're lucky. Game, the game didn't let and me. And Tamina didn't see that coming. I didn't even know that was, that was the button to reverse. I thought I had control of it, but I'll take it. Gonna set them up for the... Going for the Venus stretch locked in. Excruciating pain as a five count before the break, and then and a boot to the jaw. And she has gained the advantage Definitely here. Definitely a good Maintain move. the aggression. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. All right, let's go ahead and tag in the, the partner. Corner. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back nice. body drop. I don't think anyone expected them to pull that off. Impressive reversal there. Come on, Carmella. Don't bother me, Tamina. I throw hands. Rapid fire. Ooh, sorry about it. But come on, come on, Carmella. Did you you can do impact? this. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Well measured. Look, I'm not. I know I can control to Carmelo. I'm purposely not controlling Carmelo. I'm letting her do her own thing. She wanted to do this tag team, so you need to show me why we tag team. Because I don't see it. And she breaks free before a one count. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. And that's not going to make Tamina happy. Come on. Here's a tag. All right, minion. Okay. Opponent off the ropes. Got a quality tag team move. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Quick thinking from Tamina. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Powerful Ooh, contact. Right. I gotta watch Tamina. out for Tamina. She's she's the bruiser of the group. Of Able course. to tag her partner. Like I said, Tamina, I don't feel like she's bad. I feel like just they don't know what to do with Tamina. Because she she comes off very strong and stoic. But admittedly, she comes off with like a wire version of um Nia Jax, honestly. This match is wearing her down. That's why, that, that's why at the end of the day, I feel like she will be perfect if you add her to the bloodline. But I feel like Tamina and the bloodline will make Tamina more look like a Samoan version of China, which, which would be dope. 
Rhea Ripley to me is already like the rock star version of China. So you already got the rock star punk metal version of China, which is um, Rhea. And you have the Samoan style of, of, of China, as in Tamina. Which is not a bad thing whatsoever. That's another thing with Tamina. She's actually a pretty good person to have the tag team. Because she, she she always saves her partners, just like in the game. But she's going to be out and about for this one. None got it. Pretty easy victory. Pretty easy, honestly. Oh, sorry. Just checking my phone real fast. God damn, I got a lot of notifications on here. You ever just notice a bunch of notifications when you just don't be paying attention too much? It's pretty much like that right now. <laughs> but I'm definitely liking this though. Here are your winners! John Dynamic That bitch dynamic. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing. Honestly, pretty good chemistry. I might, I might edit up her tag team moves just for this. Maybe. I don't know. You ever have a mobile game that you're hooked to playing all the time? I, I kind of got that right now with um, Monopoly Go. I'm, I, I'm, I enjoy Monopoly as a series. Very fun game. But the mobile game Monopoly Go has kind of got me hooked to Midley. Teaming with, with Carmella? Really? Isn't she a little all about herself? Hey, you're the one who told me to say yes to the adventure, remember? Give it a chance. <laughs> uh. Besides, if she's all about herself by expansion, she's all about our tag team together. Potentially annoying, but ultimately win-win. I guess I guess the emoji center saying suit yourself. So we're gonna ride with that. But yeah, already already looking good with the team. What do you think of the shirt? Stunning, right? What? Is that already got a shirt? Pretty weird. Okay. You don't recognize your own shirt. An improved version of her own shirt. Thank you very much. You made such a splash by wearing it in your debut. I thought we could both wear it. So you improved it by bedazzling it? The bedazzling has added meaning too. <laughs> we'll be the totally beautiful duo. Because you're known for TBD, I'm known for being totally beautiful, and we're a duo. It's perfect. It's something. Yeah, I it's guess. It's brilliant. That's what it is. Don't worry. We had one made for you, too. And they'll be on the WWE shop by next week. Honestly, Bestie, I'm so confused by your reaction. Why are you not loving this stunning piece of merchandise? I'm not loving it because at the end of the day, you, you took the initials of the indie promotion I came from and turned it into an awkward bedazzle tag team name. That sounds very like left hand out of nowhere, but I, I guess. Let's see what she says. Don't like it because you stole my shirt. Don't like it because you have a bedazzle. I don't like it because that you didn't ask me. Uh, we'll say bedazzle. I'm not really too mad about the stealing of the shirt. And of course, it's obvious about the don't ask me. Honestly, I'm not wild about the bedazzling. It's not really the vibe of TBD. I don't think I'm okay with this. Wow, that's pretty dramatic and confusing. You wore a TBD shirt in your debut. You clearly wanted more people to know about it, and this will do exactly that. It's not the same. It's really no, not. No, it's not. Now you're a WWE superstar under contract, and the merch team is all in on this. So wear the shirt and be a tag team. Walk out together, okay? Fine. Oh, uh, and we yes. also thought it would be great if Carmella got the pin in your match tonight. It'll go a long way in establishing you guys. 
I'm not sure I can promise that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. Gotta run. Thanks for being such a good sport. See you out there, bestie. I can't really hate Carmela too much because I know she's trying to mean well everything. But God, I hate Troy. And I'm going to always say I hate Troy. I fucking hate Troy. <laughs> Troy is such, such a piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to continue this. Just give me a second. I need, I need to take a piss. After I take a piss, we'll come back and continue this story. But I'm liking it so far. Very interesting. Stories, the side stories all make sense. And I'm pretty sure the, the main story is going to make sense as well. I hope so. Oh. Yeah, the mobile game got me hooked. I'm sorry, guys. Remember, kids, hygiene is always important. I had to make sure I wash my hands. All right. So let's go ahead and continue on the story and let's see how this tag team match goes. I will say, I honestly don't mind letting Carmella get the pin. I just hope she doesn't take five years into getting the pin. I'll just weaken them all. So it'll be a fair trade. <laughs> Tonight, the totally beautiful duo Carmella and DDM take on Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade. The totally beautiful duo is a gorgeous wrecking ball of victory that cannot be stopped. Hashtag TBD. Oh, God. Can't wait to work together, but also independently with my friend Carmella, who I team with sometimes when it's convenient. <laughs> very, very believing. Very believing, Dawn. Thanks. If I didn't know better, I'd say that DDM and Carmella aren't on the same page. Shut up, Ava. Go back to your breathing app. <laughs> God damn it, Dawn. Why don't do that? Just play along. Just just play along, trust me. Team TBD is ready for action. Oh god, they even had me change up my gear for this. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> she looks so unhappy. <laughs> she looks so fucking unhappy. We know why you like them, Corey. Holy shit. But I actually think they have real potential, especially with Cap leading the way. 
okay, so I can already tell who what kind of entrance they got us with. So I'm guessing Mandy Rose and um Sonya Deville teamed up at one point. I don't remember the tag team, but this is what it obviously looks like. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. We'll work it out. We're a squad. We're a team. I guess. Sort of. I don't know. I'm really mad they made me change up my gear just for this match. Has begun, and I don't think it'll ever end. And their opponents first from Chicago, Illinois. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude. That's for certain. Yeah, and she's always ready to pick a big fight. I will say, I do like the Cora Jade that we got now. More than the Cora Jade that came in that was like the skateboarder happiness type thing. Don't get me wrong, it looked alright, but it just, I just felt like it didn't work. I felt like it was something forced that's kind of like when they had um, Matt Riddle Cora being Jade forced to be to the stoner of WWE. Tonight. You know, he was literally the stoner of WWE. You can't handle the generation of Jade. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? We got Roxanne making her way out now. Roxanne's another person that they've done great work with Here in the game, the honestly. Roxanne Perez. Yeah, she looks really good in the game. Texas. Roxanne Perez. Winner of the first ever women's breakout tournament in NXT. And she's held tag team gold and the NXT Women's Championship. But it still feels like she needs to prove herself as a top dog in all of WWE. I, I do like how how they're how they're doing with her on 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 TV. Like right now, Roxanne ex like experimenting with her heel side honestly is pretty cool. She looks very interesting as a heel, and I hope she does bring that attitude onto the main roster. After it premiered, well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. Yeah. The totally beautiful duo right, appears do this. to be forming into an actual team. Well, let's see how that translates into the ring. Well, I do think right, they have the Cap potential. Hit Cora or Roxy with three combos. Bet that's easy. In the world, I literally just did one without trying. Together to get the job done. Literally, I wasn't trying. I just I'm going well, off, of, off of reflex. Thank you for explaining tag team wrestling, Saxton. Oh, that backfired on her. <laughs> out of the way in time. Come on, Cora. Come on, Cora. She avoids the attack The funny thing is, I do feel like Cora and Roxanne could be an interesting tag team if they did put them together. Just have them both as heels, and I promise you, they'll do damage. Especially the fact that we all know their relationship with CM Punk is just asking for it. There was a picture online of um, all three of them together. Like, they look like an actual convincing stable. They look like what Judgment Day originally started off as, to where you had Edge, the the the, the strong veteran, trying to lead his um two fresh fresh um stable mates and Damon Priest and Rock and Rhea Ripley, so it definitely does come off convincing. I just wonder how they're gonna go about it. That's the interesting part. Damn it, I'm trying to do a running move. Carmella, get it back in the ring for me, please. Thank you. WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. Thrown back in under the ropes. Move ref. Just carrying the action. See my partner here real quick. Low tackle. Cora just can't stop this attack. Jade needs to find a trick in her playbook now. Jade, you're gonna have to do a lot to make that happen though. Big time suplex. If you guys see me looking down a lot, it's only because I have I have like um mobile app playing in the background. I'm gonna keep my main focus on this in the stream, but I I, I will admit like I, I do tend to multitask sometimes when I play the game. 
Here's a roll through. Roll through, super kick. Ooh, all right. Let's go ahead and hit her with this. Never mind, I guess. Fought off with an elbow. Jade showing how much punishment she can withstand before getting her own offense in. Jade I'm sorry, Jade. Just a rush of her own with it's only, it was only the for the objective. If it wasn't for the objective, I'll let you tag him, Roxanne, but I'm, I'm just not letting it happen. I'm sorry, I can't let it happen. A second gut red suplex. Cora can't find a foothold in this match. Jade needs to find a trick in her playbook now. Jade needs to get, get out this ring because she's, she's catching all of his ass with me. Oh, perfect. I gotta, gotta finish it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. It's time for the dynamic. What's coming next? Pump handle. Oh. That can be Jade's demise. Hurry up, get in this ring. Pinner, pinner, pinner. Makes the cover. Oh! Come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Boom. That was a good save by Roxanne. Too bad she she had to get punished for it. Trying to control his hair, but of course it's not that easy. And she slides her back to the mat. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. She's back just in time. Thank goodness I did not want to There we go. Out. Head scissor. Very nice her very nice head scissor. Counter on Carmella. God damn it, I almost ended this quickly if it wasn't for Roxanne. That was my fault. I should have I should have took out Rocky in before doing the pin. What a spectacular move. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Oh! Carmella planted one there. She's At this point, I'm doing really good keeping Roxanne from getting the ring. Okay, I don't mean to keep doing this head scissors. That's actually honestly by accident. Nicely done with the head scissors. No, no. Tag made. Fuck. Tag made. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Drop kick from behind. Roxanne sensed that was coming. Oh, Ooh. Just gotta watch out for Roxanne. She's very vicious. Poor Jade is vicious at times, yes. But right now, the way this match is going, Roxanne is the person I gotta watch out for the most. Plus, she's a fresh body in here. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Nice. Oh, of course you're coming to Boston. And a strong kick out in one. Amazing Get up, girl. effort by her. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Big time clothesline. Good grief. <laughs> come on, come on, quick. Four is gone. And the code of silence. With a takedown, looking for... Code of silence submission is locked in. The submission is locked. He's not gonna Damn it, she's not weak enough. She's doing whatever she can to escape, but she does. <laughs> to the face. What a redirect. Hold on. I, I, I need to see. Does Carmella have another move other than Code of Silence? Standing super kick. Okay, um, do I need to hold it or something? I think I need to hold down. It's not telling me which is which. Oh yeah, I had to hold it. I feel a celebration coming. Oh my good will it be? Pin, pin, come on, pin. Oh my god! And of course she she got all of it. No way! She actually kicked out. Carmella gets waylaid. Momentum isn't completely out of Cora's side just yet. The U-turn Cora needed in this match could have been that right there. All right, let me go ahead and tag in Dawn real fast. Tagged in. Put a little bit of a beat down, a little bit more on, on Roxanne. And then we'll try again to make sure Carmella gets the pin. To the midsection, double underhook. Oh, butterfly. Lumblower. Good luck breathing after that. Tag. 
Anytime I hear the word breathing, all I'm going to be thinking about is the breathing app storyline. She really is. And Perez saw that coming. Reversal on top of reversal. Pretty drop kick. Gut wrench applied. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. And that's another focused attack to her torso area. And an up kick to the face. There's the switch. Quick, quick, quick. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Ooh, man. Come on, still this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. There we go. Easy way, clean, and it makes sense. Don do the work, and Carmella just scoops the pin. I will say, Carmella's not that bad to use. Not not a favorite for me to want to use, but she's not that bad to use. But yeah, this was definitely smart. Hit that hit that 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 face buster real fast. Tagged in Carmella. Carmella knocked out the other opponent. Got the pin. It's Carmella finishing this one off for the team. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. I will say it does, the outfit doesn't look that bad on Dawn, though. It, all, it looks pretty good. It's just if the tag team was going to actually stay dedicated, I would definitely make sure I have to change the hair color. But since we know it's only a side story, it's not going to stay. There's no point in me doing all of that. But I mean, it would be me putting in effort to follow it through. <laughs> okay, that is definitely not what I meant by saying yes to the adventure. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised you went along with it. You've always been so protected of TBD. I was backed into a corner. I personally love rhinestones, but when people think TBD, I want them to think about our people and what we built, not Carmella. You're right. I need to put my foot down regardless on how totally beautiful our duo is. Truly do, man. You gotta, gotta take care of that. Is TBD wrestling rebranding? Weird pivot, but the TBD hashtag was filled with pictures of Carmella on my feed. Okay, yeah, 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 we got to get rid of that. No, that's a no-go. When you try to turn a whole in a whole indie company into just your branding for a tag team, that that's a fuck no right there. Even I can't embrace that. Cut this shit. Cut that tag team, bro. What a fantastic victory for TBD. For you mostly. Listen, I know I said I was down to team with you for a few matches, Make sure but I wasn't working. really looking for a permanent situation. You're not? No, especially not if it means using the TBD logo like this. Oh, well, no worries. That's not a problem at all. It's not? Of course not. I can just as easily repurpose TBD to mean totally beautiful ding or something. And you don't have to team with me or wear the shirt. Hey, by the way, do you think it's okay to say Dame if I'm using it myself or does that get into a weird space? Realistically, honestly, the word Dame is kind of a weird thing to use. I could say if a female is using it, you can get away with it. But if anybody else was to say it, it kind of treads on the line because Dame was mostly used as a bad way more than a good way, per se. But either way, no, fuck off with the TBD. I don't think you're getting it, Carmella. Fine, I'll figure out another D word that means a fabulous single lady competitor. Dish? Doll? Diva? Hmm, maybe not diva. No, I'm not gonna let the shirt of a company I've built from the ground up be stolen by a self-obsessed clout vampire who only wanted to team up with me to hitch your wagon of mine. There wow, we go. getting a bit heated there, bestie. Well, if that's how you really feel. It is then we can have a match for the right to wear the t-shirt. No, it's not yours to even claim to have the right. Maybe not, but I'm pretty sure Troy likes my version. And rights or not, I can always just keep wearing the shirt regardless. 
I'll see you in the ring. Oh, I, I really hate that. <laughs> I so hate that. <laughs> All right. Let's take care of this and hopefully rip that shirt off her. Not in the sexual manner. I mean, rip it off as not saying TBD sounds, stands for whatever Carmelo wants to make up for. Trouble in Paradise? DDM confronts Carmella for the very soul of TBD next week on WWE Raw. What's this now? Call me DDM. Oh yeah, we're everybody's just not fucking with this shit. This is what happened when you let WWE throw in an idea off the rip and they don't really let you like put no input. That's why I'm hoping the new regime of WB with Triple H is not really it's like this. The they actually want input into their shit first. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dom Dynamic Matoda. We know the TBD name that's up for grabs here is deeply important to Cap. Because we know where her loyalty really is, Cole. Unlike Carmella, who is WWE through and through. At least they acknowledge that they know that that Captain is about the promotion DD, D, TBD and not this whole thing WWE is trying to do with it. So I'm very happy for that, at least. <laughs> Uh, I kind of don't want to watch Carmelo's entrance at this point, but I'm pretty sure Carm the commentary is going to add Carmella something. Looking to make the beautiful duo a solo act. I will say that I, I don't get the whole dance that Carmelo's doing here, but it is a little better than her just jumping around in a circle and then doing the moonwalk, I guess. Yeah. We know that there is only one woman in WWE who is a beautiful duo all by herself, and that's Carmella. At least she's clearly wearing an undershirt or under outfit, so I can take that shirt off and burn it, if anything. The most beautiful woman in WWE is ready to be the sole proprietor of TBD. After a very short honeymoon, it appears the totally beautiful duo is no more. It was like a tag team relationship speed run. But now, who will walk away with control of their team name? Okay, Until this okay. match concludes, I guess the answer to that is TBD. And look at for a big Okay, okay. Carmella's going to do a little finish. head. Can she this do it? This fix look this. at a steal in there, perhaps. She was hopeful going for the pin there. Oh, that axe kick, though. I'm so happy I added that. That shit looks so good. What do they have planned here? You're an Augie. Oh, the knee drop Drop that knee on her. And Carmella fighting back. A oh, sit out match slam. Oof. Oh, okay. I didn't see that reversal. Ooh, point. Nasty okay, kick. that's fine. That's fine. Insulting. That's telling your opponent you don't deserve to share this stage with me. All right. Let Carmella think that. Counter on Carmella. All right. She's back in, ready to go. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. That offense taking a toll on her. Oh yeah, we we working this out. <laughs> you wanna rock TBD? What do they have? You wanna get that TBD here? beat down? You're an Augie. Oh, quite an effective Oof. counter. Okay, okay. Left by the turnbuckles. Diving Oof. splash right. in the corner. Foot to the gut. Telegraph. I saw that bitch. I knew he was coming. I love when the AI does smarten up and try to catch you like on a whim. Oh my goodness, what a knee strike. Great athleticism. Oh, oh man, what Oh, totally the face. I'm hitting her completely in the face since y'all wanted to say that. Snap mare. 
And the rolling next snap. Oh, my ass. Oh, fuckers. Look out! Sliding under the ropes into a splash. So it's on the Ray Ray for that one. That is the attitude of a daredevil. Get her back in the, the ring. ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Had that one nice scouted. Reversal. She got tired of being pushed around. Now wants to push the advantage. Mella just can't seem to stop this offense. Mella's being systematic. Come on, Mella. On. You want to use the name for something stupid? And Beat me, so you can use that name. Back. I'm kind of mad they said the objective says attempt. So it definitely says they have something planned if she was to beat me, but I'm, we're not seeing that. Body shots connecting. Atomic drop into an up kick to the face. Two. I definitely like that up kick. Very effective. Great addition to, to, to her moveset, honestly. But it's time to end this with the dynamic pump next? handle. Come on, ref. That could finish off Carmella. Two. What a performance and what a You ain't win. taking the TBD Let's spirit from me. It ain't happening, bro. Nah. But it was a valiant fight, though, from Carmella, honestly. Real life Carmella will give you a fight in the ring, and I do respect that from her. That and she does technically come from a wrestling legacy. I don't remember exactly how, but it's she definitely comes as as a second generation wrestler. And, and WB has much respect for second and third generations. All right, TBD has been represented correctly, even if um Rose is mad at me. <laughs> Wasn't my fault for the storyline. Got something with Justine. But let's see here. I'm pretty sure there's something in social media. There we go. I will. I never wanted to be DDM's partner in the first place. She can have TBD. The only letters I'll be wearing are. I'm not spelling Carmella. <laughs> but good. At least she's not wearing the shit no more. Definitely take that shit the fuck off. <laughs> All right, so now let's see what's up with Candice LeRae. Great to see you in a WWE locker room, Cap. Although a little surprised, considering what you said about this place while we were on the indies together. What can I say? I'm trying new things. You don't have some secret beef with me like Shotzi apparently does. Honestly, I don't know what her deal is. You were always great to me when I was booked at TBD. Glad to hear it. So what's your game plan here? Game plan? I don't know what you mean. Keep having matches, win, repeat. Oh, geez. What? You're on a different level now. You can't just do what you've always done and expect to succeed. You have to do the work. For instance, it's not just winning, it's how you win. Okay. What do you mean? Winning in ways that make an impact. I know you know your stuff, but I'd be happy to give you some WWE specific specific pointers. I trained wrestlers while I was on the indies, so I'm used to helping people find their groove. Okay. Well, I mean, she doesn't mean bad by it, so I mean, why not? Let's see I what she got. I actually appreciate that a lot, Candace. I'm trying to put my best foot forward here. Of course. Lesson one. Making your opponent tap makes a statement to both WWE Universe and the locker room. Oh, I've already been doing Everyone's that. Everyone's talented around here, but... If they acknowledge you in the ring, they have to acknowledge you behind the curtain. Reasonable enough. I know you have a match with Chelsea Green coming up. Make her tap and win by submission. Oh, that's easy. I got you. That is fucking easy. I fucking got you. I've already been making everybody else tap by submission. That's Dawn's specialty. So, I mean, it's not going to be that hard to do it. Yeah, so Here far I like is. the engaging the style of this story mode. Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb Dynamic Matoda! 
From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this Dipping isn't some game smoke subs, bingo baby. Hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. Oh, that's easy. What you mean? Oh, wait. I, I hope they got Chelsea's Green announcement style in here. I would I would want, want, want to hear it in the game. Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on. I mean, I love mess. Chelsea Green, honestly. Bite She's very tongue, entertaining. Saxton. I feel like her being a women's champion would be From funny as hell and Canada, disastrous. Yes, they got the announcement in here. Let's go. This, you can obviously tell this is the first time I played with against Chelsea Green in here, so I'm happy about that. Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Maybe after Chelsea gets the win tonight, the general manager will finally recognize her talents. Maybe Chelsea will stop complaining Two too. Emerging superstars both trying to make a big statement tonight. All right, let's work on this legs from the beginning. Make a big Quickly. statement every night. You're right, Corey, but from what I've heard, there might be some extra motivation for Cap in this match. Ouch. Uh oh. I always like this move. This move's always fucked up. <laughs> Submission is in. He's playing the air guitar. Oh, ouch. Oh, my goodness. Bam. And that can rattle Chelsea Green's foundation. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Chelsea just can't stop this attack. Chelsea now just trying to survive. Sorry, Chelsea. You, you know it's already business. Like that if you want to win. And she gets herself out of a Ooh, precarious try to position. Ooh, strike that was a pump She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Big right rocks Come for on, the Chelsea. Their opponent. What on earth is yeah, this? Yeah, Chelsea's gonna just be? getting her ass whooped in this one. Oh, they call that the Venus stretch. It's painful. And a boot to the jaw. By definitely, uh, by definitely stand by what I said. Chelsea Green is highly entertaining on WWE. So I, I do hope she continues she to get her break onto the roster. Interesting strategy. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Now I'm not worried if she doesn't become God, women's champion, but I just know if they ever pull the gun on doing it, yeah, it'll be entertaining as all fuck. Placed upon the left knee. Just never had a chance to block any of those. And another attack to a weakened leg. Move ref. Thank you. Wicked chop block. All right, let's get this over. Oh, oh, she, oh all right, good. She didn't reverse the finisher. I thought she reversed the finisher, honestly. Drop toe hole. No, oh, disabling the leg with that. Yeah, Chelsea, I don't think you're going to hurt me with the fact of how well I've already broken your legs. Chelsea on the receiving end. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. God, that super kick was mean. Right, she's looking to apply the pressure but with this he definitely laid down over. what was happening here. It's time for Dawn for greatness. Getting it cinched in. Oh, oh the end is yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. No Sorry, Chelsea. Got to tap out. All in a nice work. Like I said, submission matches was the easiest thing to do. That's one thing I wanted to make important with Dawn, that she was just like Blade Franco to where she could capitalize on beating you by spin or submit. So she's not a one-trick pony. She could be, but she's not. going to be happy about this loss. Oh man, if Chelsea Green has her way, we'll be hearing about this injustice for at least the next few weeks. Oh yeah, you know Chelsea Green will talk about this shit forever. <laughs> Bro.
great match. The locker room is cl is chattering after the submission victory. Also, talk to Candice, and I think your pitch for your next match is great. I've already got got approved approval for the rest of the team. What are you talking about? I know. I was surprised you had a good idea too, but we really liked it. We'll set it up for next week. Then see you then. Troy, the fuck are you talking about? Oh boy, what did Candace put me a part of? Hey, mind filling me in on this pitch that Troy messaged me about? Apparently, I had a very good idea. Oh, sorry. I meant to tell you about it first, but I got too excited and I couldn't stop myself from spilling to Troy. But it's good, I promise. Oh boy, what is it? <laughs> okay. Your submission match definitely increased your buzz within the WWE universe. But okay. what could make an even bigger impact while keeping it fresh? You tell me. Knocking out your opponent. Oh boy. Well, exactly. And the WWE universe will eat it up too. Troy's putting it all together and Piper Niven's in. Apparently, oh, shit. she still got some lingering issues about a former name she had and wants to blow off steam. It'll be an official WWE sanctioned KO match. Okay, you know, that's not bad. I could work with a KO match, especially with Piper Niven. <laughs> I like the fact they hinted the fact of how her former name was fucking Dewdrop. I, I hated that name, Dewdrop, for, for Piper Niven. I'm sitting here wondering, why are you guys doing that to her, bro? No no one wants to call her Dewdrop. Piper Niven was always a better name, and I'm happy they put her back to her name. I like it, and I'm excited. I've got some steam of my own to blow off. That's the spirit. Believe me, it'll pay off. All right, we'll see. But I like this though. I, I like this story as to where like you have to really engage into doing different stuff with your character, which is good. There's only one way out, and that's knockout. DDM face Piper Niven next week on WWE Raw. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna have a challenge match here. Commanding the ring and forging her path. The captain. I do hate the fact of how I have a bunch of energy, but my body won't stop me on it. And I'm not even like really tired, but I did hit the gym before starting the stream, so that could be partly that. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. Oh, yeah. She got this. All right, come a on, Piper. Bring it on. In the women's division. Absolute sheer aggression. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven! Niven has made it very clear as of late. Whatever she wants, she will take. You're not kidding, Saxton. She basically declared herself a tag team champion. And the funny part was, nobody objected. Facts. <laughs> and honestly, her, her Chelsea Green honestly makes a great tag team. Very comical, very strong. It just fits everything all in one. I definitely did. I definitely like the tag team with them. Piper Niven looking to make a name for herself tonight. I've been waiting for this all night. We've rarely seen a knockout match. First superstar to knock out their opponent gets the win. Good luck trying to knock Piper Niven out. Oh, that's not going to be that hard. I'm pretty sure she's going to give me a fight, but she don't know Dawn. Dawn likes to fight when she needs to. Ooh, that drop kick is picture perfect. I love that move. Oh, my goodness. Reversal. Can 
she capitalize? Places her right in the corner. She fights Piper back. Brilliant countering Ooh. by both competitors. She saw that one coming. Come on, Piper. You got to do better than that. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Niven gets out of dodge. Drop kick. Beautiful. And an Stop running at me, Stop, here. Stop running at me. Niven has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Able to interrupt the attack. Jumping I will say, though, Piper run. Niven looks a does look a little taller on and TV in comparison to the game. Dawn is like 5'10", so I mean, that's still something to, to keep in mind. Might just get hard to watch. Russian leg sweep. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Dark matter. Alright, let's get, let, let, let's get, get her flying. Drop from the ropes. Nice quality leg drop. turns the tables one reversal after another these two are reading each other's minds DDT. like i said this ain't gonna be that hard to knock the rocks an atomic drop and, and an up kick to the face that up kick definitely helps that's not a knockout though I would say that's a knockout with that up kick. Uh -oh, that's fine. This dynamic pump next? handle should do it. Oh. What? Breath. 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 Okay, I, I guess it wasn't enough. Punches to the ear? How are they going to hear after this match? And Piper is failing to offer any resistance here. Niven's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Come on, how much do I got to keep beating down Piper Niven? I thought by now she would be knocked out. The amount of offense I'm giving to her. Oh shit. Quality boss man slam by the way. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. No. Did Niven end it there? Jumping elbow I'm about to say, there's no way I could be knocked out from that after all the assault I've been doing to Piper and she's not knocked out. I never thought yeah, Piper Niven as a person to fly, to be honest. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Avoiding contact. Range down an elbow retaliation. Drop kick finds the spot. That drop kick will always find the spot. I will say, I'm fine with the fact that we don't see women like really bleeding in WWE or anywhere really wrestling much, she said but back in under I the would ropes. be open to it. I'm not saying they all need to have critical oh. masks and shit, but it would be oh. interesting. Striking down with the axe handle. It'll be as interesting as like the WNBA uh, like adding more women that actually like dunk on the rim. And I mean dunk to where they're, like, they're just the banging oh. the rim trying to and break it. Too. Not the that one, so it's called. I'm amazed a leg breaker did it though. Out of These all the moves, a simple show, leg breaker gander. did it. <laughs> but we got her knocked out. And mission is accomplished. Here is your winner, Dom Dynamic Matoda. An unfortunate loss for Piper Niven tonight. Piper Niven has a perpetual bad attitude, and you can bet this loss only made it worse. She's not going to forget this anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Piper's going to be pissed. She's going to be pissed for a good while. <laughs> I, I definitely imagine seeing that. But good fight, though, nonetheless. I will say I expect this stream to go around to, like, somewhere around 8 o'clock, I say, honestly. I'm not really getting tired of it, but I know I'm not going to be too long on this stream for today. I want to definitely save a lot for tomorrow. I've been enjoying the last couple of months from DDM, but honestly, where's the build? Kind of just seem, kind of seem just haphazardly strung together for me. A bleat with intense finishes. Uh, 
I mean, what can you do? It's a good start off for now, I believe. Hey, any chance you've been talking to Candice LeRae lately? Yeah, how did you know? Well, believe it or not, I've seen this before. Notice anything in common about your last two opponents? They both lost to me? True, but they also both worked the indies, like you. So? Candace has this thing about being seen as the best wrestler around here who came out of the independent scene. Oh, so that makes sense. In, she talks up ring work and brutal finishes above all else. And those brutal finishes, the more the other indie darlings take each other out, the more Candace can stand tall as the indie queen. So Candace is using me? Big yep, unfortunately. She even Damn. talked up about how she used to used to train wrestlers on the indies. Heard that before too. Honestly, I'm not sure why Candace holds on to her indie street cred so hard. It's something to be proud of for sure. But she takes it to a pretty extreme level, trying to eliminate all competition. Honestly, that is pretty stupid, and I'll be real as I say this. In Candice LeRae does not come off to me as somebody who I'll say is the greatest one of the greatest wrestlers from the indies to be honest is like if we're talking about women that came from the indies that showcase a lot we could kind of say Shayna Baszler Shayna Baszler technically came from the indies traveling around before WWE and Shayna Baszler is a fucking force she is honestly someone convincing to me more than Candice LeRae Candice LeRae honestly hasn't been showcased much her matches aren't really that interesting I'm not trying to hate on her but it's like the only interesting thing that has been going for her is the fact that she's been parted away. And currently now, the fact that she's embracing her hillside again. But it's just... Indie... I would, when I think of indie wrestlers, women or men, I don't think of Candice LeRae, to be honest. I know of Candice LeRae in her indies, but I don't think of her. But that's crazy. I get it, though. All of us who came up through that world have a lot to be proud of. Even if I don't appreciate her manipulation, I understand why she reps that part of her background. Hey, don't forget, I came from the Indies too. But I don't understand why someone would want to be known for what they've done over what they're doing now. Facts. If someone was talking about my indie work as opposed to what I've accomplished in WWE, yeesh. Don't say suck in the past. You're here to build your future. Anyway, something to think about when you're dealing with Candace. See, and I'm, I'm happy Becky Lynch is someone who, 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 who brings this up to you. That's actually pretty good. Because I like Becky. And Becky, honestly, I would say is much better renowned than fucking Candice Array when it comes to indie darlings in the WWE. Hey, Candice, I've been thinking about my next match. With all your wonderful guidance, I'm finally ready to, I'm finally ready to really do the work. Oh, that's great. And I have a fantastic idea for your next opponent. I promise you my idea is even better. The match will be extremely impactful and allow me to work through some frustrations in the ring. I'll be facing you. You talk to Becky, huh? Yep. Okay, fine, fair play. But like it or not, I am the best from the indies and I'll show you that in the ring. And I'll even do, I even do have some great advice. Let's see here. Oh, I could challenge her to an Iron Woman match. Oh, this would be killing a lot of time. Challenge Candace to a 10 minute, 25 minute, or 60 minute. I'll be honest, beating Candace LeRae won't be that hard. But, oof. I, all right, I like Iron Man, Iron Women matches. I do. But at the same time, I'm thinking, do I really want to spend 25 or 60 minutes just to beat Candace LeRae? I can easily get that do the job done in 10 minutes. I promise I could get two falls on her in 10 minutes. But, you know, just for, you know, the matchup and the fact we'll give some time here, we'll do 25. Let's go with that. You have all the time in the world to pack it in when we're in the ring. I'm challenging you to an Iron Woman's match. Screw, impact screw impairing advice. I'll be teaching you a lesson. Bring it. All right, 
DDM versus Candice LeRae in an Iron Woman match. WWE Raw. Oh, I love this matchup. I was a fan of both of their careers before WWE. Okay. Well, at least people got interest in this, so let's see. I'm going to go 25 minutes with Candice LeRae in the ring. Not something I really would want to, but fuck it. Why not? 10 minutes don't feel like it will be, be righteous enough for an Iron Woman's match. A 25 seems better. Out of the ring. The captain. The following contest is an Iron Woman match. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb Dynamic Matoda. That bitch dynamic. Making waves ever since her WWE trial. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. Mrs. Wrestling has returned. I will say though, her husband is still better than her in my eyes. Both entertainment wise and wrestling wise. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. I went here tonight. We'll reestablish Lorraine. Well, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. Well, all in all, I'll definitely say Candice LeRae match. looks very well done in the, the game. And Candice LeRae are going to put it all on the line to see who can best rep their indie cred on the big stage. With these two, I'm going to predict a high-scoring affair. This should be good. I'm calling it. I'm going to have more than three falls over Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae is going to probably get one lucky fall on me this whole match. But we'll see. Because look at this, it's already less than a minute and I'm already doing much better than her. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, kick to the side of the face. Alright, so for this, I'm going to try to get a pin and a submission on her at least. At least one submission and one pin within this Iron Woman's matches. Big overhand. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Good timing with that reversal. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Good, oh, good. Jumping stopped in the gut. And give me that Dragon leg real screw. fast. Thank you. Oh. What are we gonna see here? I will say on TV, I do want to see uh, like more Iron Iron Man and Women matchups. Honestly, I'm not saying they have to be every week or every month, but I really do feel like they need to build up another one because it's been a while. Honestly, it's been a good while since seeing either one. But I love what NXT made of with the Iron Survivor Challenge. The Iron Survivor Challenge makes up for that so much. It's cool. It's innovative. And to be real, I'm, I know it's an NXT main, main staple, but I want to see it on the main roster at some point, at least once. I feel like the main roster could do could do that Iron Survivor match justice. And just like NXT, you could do one for the men and women. But for right now, I do like the fact of keeping it in the NXT only because I feel like that's one thing that they didn't do a lot in the past and that's keep certain match styles to only one round. Because remember, War Games was a NXT only thing when they brought it back. But then they brought it to the main roster. It wasn't played off of bad, but it works well to where they try to make the most impacting faction versus faction stories through that. And I feel like that's that's the best part of the war games. 
no way. Oh, God. That, that, that's in the Iron Survivor crazy. matches, I like those because those are like the best elevation to give people, to give multiple people who claim that they want to be number one contender for the top title a chance. <laughs> DDT. Ooh. She's enduring some damage. Now the last yeah, Iron Survivors was very good. Right Rick Williams coming back with that, with that amazing out of nowhere last minute drive to get all of his falls and win was honestly one of the coolest things WWE has ever did, to be real. It was a great way of building up on um, Trick Williams' character. And then the women's iron the iron the women's iron survivor match was very good. It had it definitely had me on my toes and I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping for Last Legend to win. I'm mad she didn't win, but she, she was close. Here. I felt like Last Legend definitely somebody that would that would Holy definitely strive right as action. being a women's champion in NXT. And that failed to hit the mark. <laughs> she might be zoned in on the leg at this point. But I feel like in order for her to really strive as NXT women's champion, they need to probably get her out of metaphor. I'm not saying the group metaphor is holding her back, but I feel like she would do better if she was outside of metaphor. Oh, first reversal to my float over. Okay, I respect it. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Connects on the kick. Really just laying it in. Oh yeah, I'm destroying her legs, bro. Oh, look at this, really softening up the leg. Just punishing every strike more devastating than the last. Saw that coming. Come on, too good for you, Candice. Tactic there. Candice now undertaking a barrage. Candice is getting the window shut at every opening. Oh shit, okay. Extend your leg. Oh, we need to be careful here. Round and round into the Ooh, okay. Got, got a nice tilt to world. Oh, just turn that around. Ooh, she reversed the chop block. Good shit. Okay, they're making Candace convincing in the game. Sadly, I don't get to see her just convincing on TV much. I feel like she can be good. I feel like Candace can be as good as she claims to be on TV. But it's like, just don't be seeing it, bro. And and like I said, this is not hate on Candace LeRae, but it's hard to really see that right now. But what she's going to see is that dynamic pump handle, though. Come on, ref. Let's get this first fall out the way. Oh shit! Okay, okay. She got out of it. Respect. So far, this this Iron Woman Survivor match is definitely going farther than I thought in the first five minutes. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. That's a few times now she's taken a hit up in that region. All right, I gotta be careful. My fatigue is definitely down. Candice on the receiving end. All right, hit her with a big move so we can get a, oh get a breather here. Definitely need it. These competitors searching, hunting for the next fall right, to good, get good, that good. Get that fatigue and get that stamina. Oh, get that stamina. Gosh. And that crucial first fall continues to elude these superstars. Kick right to the leg. That mere takedown. I admit, Candice is doing well right, keeping right, me from almost. getting the first fall. Because I was going to try to get it through pin. But she's not letting that happen. The almost a two. Oh, almost a two. Did. I don't want this match to end. Don't worry, don't worry, Bri Byron. We still got 18 exactly. more minutes. When you decide to finally go on a date, I've got someone I'd like to introduce you to. Meet the wicked stepsister. Oh, I didn't know that was a signature for her. It, it works though. Compete with Miss Candice LeRae. Mrs. Gargano escape. Locked in. Uh oh, she needs to hang on if she tap. There it is. All right, that wasn't even fair. I was literally fighting back, and they just didn't give me a chance. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. Very nice. All right, Candice, don't let me make a comeback now. Still have a ways to go in this match. And some late game offense from the Poison Pixie. Lorraine's been digging deep to. I will say I hate I hate when the computer gets a submission. It's like they don't give me a fair chance to break out of it, and I'm like tapping the fuck out of the buttons. Suicide! Oh no! Crashing hard on 
down to the floor. An absolutely foolhardy decision. Get your ass there. in the ring. Get your ass in the ring. Bitch. I said get in the ring. The risk was worth it. You got one lucky fall on me. You she ain't getting another one. In. I'm guaranteeing that. There we go. I just wanted to get that one real fast. Okay, I admit, I forgot what her third ones was because I gave myself three of them. Let's see here. The chop block, coup de gras. That was the other one. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's stomp the shit out of her real fast. Uh oh. Ooh, of course I missed it. And one more reversal. Talk about. Oh, that trick me. That was the other finisher I gave her. See, we're diving into more of the move set. All right, one and one now. Pick the leg. Oh man, that'll tear your hamstring. And Larray looking worse for wear as this match continues. All right, come on, Larray's Dawn. Let's get up real quick. Seat, but now she's hanging on by a thread here. I will say, I've done pretty well making this Iron Iron Woman Survivor match look interesting. I do, I, I believe. Right now we're tied one and one, so let's, let's, let's see here. Come on, Candice. Show me why you're such the darling from the Indies. Larray creates an opportunity. Oh shit! All right, I missed the reverse. So that's, only, that's the only reason why I still keep the reverse, the the, the prompts up. A lot of the reverses been moved around them from last year. That was a two count. Fuck out of here, ref. All right, this game is bullshitting me because that that was a two count. That was not a three. Stiff resistance down the stretch. Seeing some impressive resilience from the esteemed Mrs. Wrestling. And the attacks up there must be taken. Come on, Candice. Now you just ask before it now. At this point. Delivering a urinagi. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. She's still in this. All right, so we're fair ball. now. Cool, cool. Oh. Oh, stop it away. Frying their opponent's arm out. Oh, my goodness. The table started yeah, that's a good way to, to tear off somebody's arm. Now to tear up this damn leg. Good luck walking after this. Ooh. Tearing down the leg now. Ooh, I was going for a quick leg submission. But okay, she stopped me. She stopped me. The Candace's corner. Larray could be turning her fortunes around. Boot to the mush. Effective way to counter any attack. Nice chop block. Let's get let's get a pin real fast from that chop block. Nice, nice. And we got two finishers, which is perfect. Let's, let's wear her down a little bit, then hit her with another finisher. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. Oh man, that'll tear your hamstring. And the I will say I do like the fact how certain continues. moves they just fall over because of the fatigue lower, which is good. I definitely like it. It, it. it gives a lot of realism to it. Get up, 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 get up. Come on, get up. From the top rope, big miss right. You thought she was gonna hit me with that? Back. Oh God, face first. Stop them in their tracks with a kick to the I will gut. say you could definitely tell from Candace Icons though I've been beating the dog shit out of her right now. Oh she's fighting though. I'll give her that. She is fighting. Slips out of the way there. Wait, I, I swear I ducked that. Okay, nice comeback. Nice comeback. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Breaks the count. Cool, cool, cool. Scarily close to three. We're not trying to tie this up now. I ain't trying to tie that up right now. Perfect. I reverse that. Candace gets that set right back. And I'm gonna hit it with this. Uh -oh, pump handle Dynamic pump, pump handle. Oh, Come on, ref. All right, I'm up 4-2. Let's get it. Victory roll, pinning combination. Rolls through, super kick. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. I will say we both are damaged, so this match is is, to, is going the long run. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 
This is stop. Nah, bro, I'm getting the fuck up. Oh shit, I didn't know that was a transition version of the move. I admit I used my resiliency on that one. I'm not trying to let her get no advantage right now. And looking at the scoreboard, the outcome feels more or less settled at this point. Well, dodge in the corner, followed by an overhead kick. Oh man, drop kick. I love that drop kick, I will admit. I do. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly All right, let's get a submission here. Submission hold. Got the leg snared in. And there's the tap. So far, I kept to what I said. I got one with it. I got one with a pin, and I got one with a submission. And I'm and right now I'm three up on her. Got more than ten minutes, and now it's got to continue the abuse and keep the lead. Finding herself in less than ideal circumstances. Man, let's dive on real fast. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. That diving knee definitely is an impact move. She gets the late score. Shit, I pretty much knocked her out with that diving knee. Nope. Nice try, though, Candace. But not happening. Back. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Saw it coming and got out of there. She had it scouted. It's a good combo. But I have a good, good reversal for that. And Candace finding herself in less than ideal circumstances. This matchup starting to take a visible toll on Lorraine. Alright, let's see. Can I hit the coup de gras this time? Uh oh. A double foot stop on that ass. Cover! Two! And now she comes up with a score late in the match. Ouch! Caught her. Oh my! Dragon screw! Wow, that hurt! The table started to turn on the so called poison pixie. Candace watching her chances slip away by the second. You may Poison Pixie, but I'm just too goddamn dynamic for Their that ass. opponent is down and in bad shape, but that's not stopping And drop the base on that ass. Yeah, Cover! Two! She has scored a fall late in the match. Oh, yeah, we in a nice lead. Eight, eight to two. There's no way Candace is coming back. Even if she got another fall, it won't help her. Mistiming with that springboard. Using the elbow as a weapon. Into the corner now. Oh, that gets reversed on Lorraine. I was pressing the wrong button. I was about to hit the finisher on her. It's all right. It's all right. Kick to the stomach. Nah, ain't happening. Not here in the corner, bitch. Oh, saw it coming. All right, let's let's go ahead and throw in a submission one more time. Oh no, she was getting up. Nah, stay your ass down. I got something for you. You're gonna tap out again for me. Outright presentation of power there. And there she goes. She's saying I quit. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. Now I'm in a, a big ass hey, lead. There's no way Candace is coming try. back. Even if she got me with like maybe two or three in a string of it. She's not she's There's she's not getting it. Super kick in the face. This is just brutality, honestly. Shout out to Samoa Joe for that insiguri. As you can tell, I definitely know know my bit of wrestling. Mostly, like, who's my favorite people in certain movesets and styles. Late in the match, she scores a fall. Come on, Candice. You was the you called yourself the queen of the indies right now. I got you. I'm, I'm up by eight on you. She hit the corner hard. Man, strikes. Wow. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. 
Candace falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Candace is gonna have to navigate these deep waters. Boom! Great athleticism. Inverted atomic and drop. Mark. Oh, what a Rock. kick. Ooh, that was nasty. Cover. There's two. She gets the late score. Candace getting the ass beat so bad she had to roll out the ring. <laughs> Come on now. We got seven minutes left. Let's see what can you do with seven face. minutes. Seven minutes, you can walk into the dynamic pump handle. Such. Each one keeps getting more devastating. Two count. And now she comes up with a score. Yeah, at this point, I just now made it to the point no matter what I do to her, she's just she's, she's just going down. She adjusts it and reverses it. A steady stream of moves taking out the rain. Candace needs to find a way to grab the reins. Don't all your Candace. You can get a fall right now and it won't change all your luck right now. I'm I'm destroying you in this match. This is why the other reason I didn't want to make it more than 10 minutes. Because look what I've done in, in, in literally like 20 minutes. You know what? You can take that fall. I don't care. I'm up 12 to 3 on her. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? There's no way. Cinched in looking to break their back. She's got the submission cinched in. Oh, serious peril. No, she counters. I kind of wish they made that legit pin just for the fun of it. That would have been dope. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. No. Good oh, sunset flip. Ball. Good one. Good one. Good one. Got her where she wants her. Ooh, okay, okay. Now she's charging shot. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And there's more to come. Uh -oh. Oh, Ooh, I didn't know that was that was a finisher, but that's a good finisher nonetheless. If I kicked out of that, that would have been amazing, honestly. All right, so I gave her two falls. Now she's now she's only down by eight. Still won't make a full comeback, but she's only down by eight now. Bitch, you try to chop block me? Take this pump handle. She got me fucked up. Ooh, what a four club. Lower back. Let's see if I get this pin just from that neck breaker. Cover. Two count. And she scores a fall. See, look at this. You have to still at least put a little bit extra damage on me each time. For her, I could just hit her with just one move and it's a wrap. Uh oh! Don't matter! She avoids the contact! And misses on the springboard! You gotta be quicker than that. Bulldog brings them down! Alright, four minutes left. I'm already up by ten falls. Like I said, this is why I don't purposely set Iron Iron Man or Woman matches any longer than they should be. Because this happens. <laughs> Alright, let's oh come on. Let's go ahead and hit her with another coup de gras. Let's see if she can reverse it. Nope, she did not reverse it. This is Up by 11, baby. Give me that leg. Oh, man. Stretch it out for a second. I really like the animation of her, like, stretching out her leg after being hit with a leg attack. And that's something I really like. Working that hold now. Oh, I don't think there is any. Tap, tap. And that puts a point on the board. I mean, your leg is pretty much broken by now. The amount of times I use that move on you is crazy. And a trick knee for your dome piece. 
I can say this. I like this Iron Woman match mainly because I got to showcase like all my signatures and finishers that I set up for Dawn, which all look devastating. Candace falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Candace is gonna have to navigate these deep waters. Damn, I was trying to dive onto her. There we go. Sliding under the ropes into a splash on the floor. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Oh, damn it, I was trying to climb up, but it's fine. Now that was a quality leg drop. Let's go ahead and get the pin on that. I'm beating her by 14. Yeah, never again. Never again do I set myself in an iron, iron person matchup. If it's more than 10 minutes. If it's more than 10 minutes, it's just pointless. It's, it's utterly pointless. Candice LeRae had a better chance against me when I, if I had set it to 10 minutes rather than 25. But we're now down to the last minute and a half in here. Let's see, can she get an extra fall in here? Well, she can get dropped in the bone piece, but it's not exactly what I meant. Come on, ref. can't take any more of that. This must be over. Late in the match, she scores a fall. One minute left. Scores 19-4. That's not disrespectful. I don't know what is. Big right rocks the jaw of their opponent. What on earth is now? This, this is just be? disrespectful right here. Just stretching around. Oh, they call that the Venus stretch. It's painful. I will admit, I'm. I do feel bad. I kind of forgot who made that move popular in WWE. But I'm very happy it's in there. Where as this match continues, Larey's had moments in the driver's seat, but now she's hanging on by a thread here. All right, I want to hit her one more rocket kick just to end it. An atomic drop and atomic drop into a up kick to the face. I don't know why I keep calling it rocket Two. kick. It's technically an up kick. Up yeah. late in the match. Can I sneak one more? Oh, I tried. Costly error there. And this is just for the, the manipulation in the beginning of it. Oh, come on. I just wanted to see the animation of that last dynamic pump handle. It's the Iron Man match win. But I finished the Iron Woman's match. Literally 20 to 4. Don't put me in an Iron Person t match. It's, it's, it's not a good idea. Alexa, turn on lights. Yeah, I had to light up the room. I just noticed that. <laughs> Great disrespectful, just straight disrespectful what I did to Candace. But it was she started it. She shouldn't have manipulated me to try to attack every indie darling just because she wasn't queen indie. That was one of the most physical matches we've ever seen. An Iron Man match takes a huge toll, but you're seeing the result of pushing through that to win. Some could call this a squandered opportunity, but if Candace comes back from this loss even more determined. Then it might just be for the best. Shit, she might as well just retire almost. The fact of twenty to four. Yeah, my girl, you I don't know. I don't I don't know how you keep your spirits after that. Honestly, you should just stay off TV for a while. It's it's fucked up to say, but I mean it's the truth. Jeez. I feel a little bad for that. I just dogged the shit out of her and that. Yeah, damn. But I did the work, like I said. All right. So, like I said, I was thinking about eight o'clock to end it around there. So we're getting close. I think if anything, I'll take probably one more challenge match, and then we'll call it a night for today's stream. Great match on Raw tonight. If you can, check out DDM's victory over Candice LeRae. Some excellent ring work on display. Thank you. All right, let's up one of the skill. Actually, yeah, we'll hold off for upping. I don't have enough points for that. My nigga Tom, what you got for me, Tom? Hey, Cap. 
As a cameraman, I've been capturing your best moments in the ring, and so far, electrifying. Thank you, thank but you. Here's an idea to get even more eyeballs on you. A lightning fast, jaw dropping match. Defeat Tamina in less than three minutes, and the higher ups will have no choice but to grant you more opportunities. So, pretty much a WWE speed match. Okay, let's do it. I'm not saying Tamina is easy, but the fact you throw me the challenge means you don't have much faith in Tamina in withstanding the onslaught that I'm about to give to her. But, okay, well, let's, let's, let's see what we can do. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb Dynamic Matoda. That bitch died. Making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. Corey, stop hating. You mad just because I beat the shit out of Candace. I mean, not Candace, Charmel. And now she can't sit around and use the TDM name for her bullshit. It's time for Indy Cred to be put to the test. Since it's the last match, you gotta watch the entrance in full. Our entrance is definitely good. I definitely like what I did with her. I know I'm just glazing my own, my own character, but fuck it. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody Mina than Tamina. Let's see here, Tamina. Give me a big, big choice, big spin, big spin. She is considered by many to be the gatekeeper in the women's division. A very difficult opponent to beat. Well, Tamina's no gatekeeper, Saxton. With her power and aggression, she can contend for any title in the women's division. She's been training for this match for quite a while, and she. Yeah, it's hard for me to call Tamina a gatekeeper when it's like not much people have to go through her or does cap seem more determined than ever tonight i agree she does seem to have a little extra spark she might be hoping to make quick work of tamina she's gonna need more than a spark we've all seen firecrackers fizzle out before ddt kneeling Our um, opponent is down after that iron woman's shape, match i'm, I'm pumped bro from I'm delivering a uranagi I gave myself 25 minutes to, to, to give a million falls onto her. Now I have less than three minutes to beat somebody else. Lucky bitch. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Fighting back by the counter. Oh, man. Oh, okay. That headbutt is definitely something. Always be careful when it's a Samoan headbutt. It's never good. She sent flying into the corner, and Tamina didn't see that coming. Ooh, I did not expect to reverse that. But she goes shit. for the quick pin. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. She returns the favor there. On knee drop. Boom! What a shot! Super kick. Well, super kick. Ooh. And got Nuri Yarinagi with your name on it, girl. Alright, alright. It's getting close to the minute mark. I gotta I gotta try to beat this fast. Punches to the ear? How are they gonna hear? The good thing her, her head is Show worn down, so that's good. No mercy get, at get, all. get the stamina what up, get the stamina up, get up, get up. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, already absorbing so much damage here, Michael. Might be cause for concern. All right. As long as you don't reverse this, I should be Gucci. Inverted atomic drop. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, right, would, that would that do it? Would that do it? Would that do it? And shoulders are down. There's two. Kick out. Okay, I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, yeah, that 
that trick means gotta be a finisher. That gotta be a finisher. Come on, come on. Let's go. Interesting camera work by the cameraman, just to say, but good ass work. Good shit, though. The clock was very close onto that. So that trick knee definitely had to come into play. Yeah, very interesting camera work, cameraman. Just, just saying. Here is your winner, Dom Dynamic That bitch Dynamic. She's going to remember this one for a long while. I sit here right now flabbergasted. Tamina just got overpowered. Overpowered, outplayed, out wrestled. Whatever you call it, it, it happened. All right. Now that was a good ass match. Good way to follow through. A-O-J-Z-C-H, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Hope you're enjoying the stream, by the way. Great stuff. You managed to pack a lot of action into a tiny bit of time. The brass is going to be blown, blown away. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. That's why you're my favorite cameraman, Tom. Oh, yeah, but I've definitely been having fun with this My Rise. This My Rise has definitely been awesome, bro. All right, let's go ahead and level up. Okay, I did say I was going to end the stream after that match. Fuck it. Let's throw another one into it. Just because, one, we got a new follow. Thank you again. And also, I feel like I could do another one after that match. So let's do another one of the side, side stories. Uh, let's talk with Justine. Let's see what she got for us. How do you feel about a ridiculously long drive? Hey, Justine, I feel ambivalent. What if I said the magic word, mileage reimbursement? Ooh. You had my interest. Now you have my undivided attention. I'm in a travel woes bind. There's a live event tonight, and Wendy Chu's scheduled opponent is stuck in the Detroit airport. Any chance you can step down from the lofty heights of televised wrestling to help a WWE legend, me, out? Sure, I got you. I always liked you, Justine. I could fuck with you. I'm in. Honestly, it'll be nice to get back to my roots at a live event. No TV cameras, doing it just for the fans. Right on. Hey, since I don't have to worry about TV time, how about letting you spice up the match with Wendy? What are you thinking? Ooh. You know what? Just because I have a lot of fun with my submissions, and after I got that pin in under three minutes let's let's go ahead and start a Let submission only match on Wendy. submissions only sure why not have at it just keep it somewhat under control can't go too crazy at a live event fair enough fair enough nice so we're doing some live matches never hurts to go to a live show the only question is, am i, am I going to have um a different arena Oh, we do. Nice. We got the WB Live Arena. I like it. I like. I've been to the live shows plenty of times. The the un the, the non televised shows sometimes they be better than the televised shows. To be real. That bitch dynamic. And I will say that I, I like the I like the Tron setup honestly. It's very nice. Alright, now we got Wendy Chu in a submission only match. I'm kinda amazed it gave that option. I wouldn't think Wendy Chu would want to do a submission only match. Out of fairness, I haven't really seen her really do much like submissions, so that's not a reason I'm kinda amazed about that. But we're going to have some fun with Dawn here and see what we could do about that. If 
But speaking of Wendy Chu, I kind of miss seeing her on, on TV, honestly. I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if she got an injury. I don't know if they just don't have any ideas for her. But she was prominently on NXT TV for a good while and then just disappeared. Like I said, I don't know what it is, but I do hope to see her back. I do find her a little entertaining, to be honest. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! Plus, I will admit, I have a small crush for, like, the, 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 Asian, when, the Asian wrestlers. Fucking... The EO Sky, Wendy Chu, Oscar's my biggest crush. Honestly, it's like I don't know. I know it's just I just have that interest. But I know you guys saw that free status sign, which I can update too. Yo, I'm very happy that that status ban has been lifted. So now one of the best best content creators added to the community is back. He's back live. We should hopefully see his creations back up on there. I'm definitely, definitely ready. I just hope 2K could take this as a lesson to like, yo, really allow your allow your, your fans to, you know, alter the game here and there. It makes the game more fun, to be real. Because, let's be real, no matter what game it is, every game has a certain shelf life that only can be spiced up if you allow certain things like modding or like special creations and things like that. It's only so long that you can make it good only by your own work. Allow the community that enjoys your games, buys your games, to, you know, spice it up a little bit so that way everybody can enjoy it more. That and they need to fix their guidelines and stop acting like everything got to be so ultimately restricted for no reason. Oh, okay, Wendy giving me a little fight here. Okay, I respect it. That was a big bull, though. Nah, you gotta do better than that, Wendy. Okay, immediately, since it's a submission-only match, I really should be working on her legs, because that's where Dawn's submissions mainly strive on. Come here, give me that leg, girl. I will say I'm definitely happy Justine let me work the indie circuits. Well, not indie circuits, but live circuit per se. It definitely helps a home the craft. Plus, that's what that's what you're supposed to do when it when it comes to like the actual wrestling world. So I worked on the leg more than enough. Now I just got thrown in the submission. And I'm Gucci. Ooh, that was a nice Simone drop in there. Nope. Had to catch you. for that journey get up Wendy I'm sorry to do this but got to oh good reversal good reversal ooh okay nice move very nice move It's time for the dawn for greatness. And 
you're done. Wendy did give me a good match, though. Wendy gave me a good-ass fight, respectfully. But the job had to get done one way or another. She did put up a good fight in the life of her. That bitch dynamic. Look at that, just showing off as one of the best ones. You gotta do it. Alright, let's see where else we go from here. Let's see what Justine got for me. What in the hell was that supposed to be? What are you talking about? Your match with Wendy. I let you pick the match type, but injure my wrestler so she can't work TV this week was not supposed to be an option. I have to completely rework my plan for the next NXT. This isn't a spin class, Justine. If she's injured, it's not my fault she couldn't keep up with an elite performer like me. Oh, you're an elite performer now? You've been in WWE, what, a full minute? As far as I'm concerned, you're an indie darling with some buzz who's so concerned with making a splash, she doesn't know how to be smart in the ring. This isn't TBD. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means the jumping off of things at an outlaw mud show is not the same thing as knowing fundamentals. I know my fundamentals just fine, Justine. Uh-oh, heat with Justine already. Do you? Then you will deeply enjoy your next match, which will be against Tamina at the Performance Center. And to make sure you don't do anything fancy, all top rope moves are banned. Fundamentals. All right, that sounds easy. I can't go to the PC. I have commitments to Raw. After I sent Regal the live show report? You do not. You're not getting another match on Raw until I sign off. All right, Justine, forcing me now to go to the PC Center, so let's go ahead and do some work down there, I guess. Oh shit, that's a way for me to come off. Alright, the only good thing with this matchup, I don't naturally go off the top, top row too much with Dawn, so this, th this won't bother like my matchup with her. Leg pick. All right, Tamina ain't holding so well against me, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna sneak up with something. Or maybe not. God damn it, dive on her. There we go. Oh wait, I missed. <laughs> All 
Oh, I thought I got out of that one. Ooh, but that was a nice DDT though. Kick, this should be it. If not, I got a dynamic pump handle for it. Alright, wasn't it? But it was close. Come on, come on. Ooh, I was going here with the trick D, but she she got out of it. I respect it. Damn it, every time I try to hit the trick me, she got she got one of those I she got one of the rebound counters. Ooh, of course she reversed it. Good shit, Tamina. Alright, to me Tamina stand stand on her own in the PC setter. I'll give her that. I will say this this is the most she's been portrayed in the my rise last year we didn't see shit of tamina i'm about to say why are you just standing there Awesome pin. One, two, bring it. Nice. I think there got to be achievement with that. That was the first victory I got with a quick possum pin in this game. Oh, the, the trophy didn't pop up, so I, I guess there's no achievement. But first pin through possum pin. Let's get it. All right, Justine, what you got for me this time? Get that skilled wrestler. <laughs> Real nice sarcasm, Justine. I told you I didn't need to fly to win. I just enjoy it. So does the crowd. No sarcasm at all. I know you can wrestle, but I wasn't sure if you still did. I feel so mentored. Thank you for your wisdom, oh great oracle of the craft. Great. Another six or seven weeks here, and I can send you back to Raw. Six, seven weeks? God damn. What? I'm not being held hostage in Orlando by you. I know the basics, Justine. I just don't always choose to use them. I'm sorry, I have more tools at my disposal than you had back in your day. Oh shit. Back in my day? You sure have a lot to say on this. Hope you have the goods to back it up against me. Are you oh, challenging me to a match? Six weeks drilling drop downs and running the ropes, or one match with a legend under your own TBD rules. Your call. Yeah, it's kind of crazy at the house. I don't, I don't know you guys. It's kind of crazy here. <laughs> if you wanted to go, why didn't you just ask? Forget it, Cap. It's wrestling. All right, well, Justine's keeping me stuck at the PC Center, so let's see what she got me this time with. All right, I'm on our live event. Who I got, what I got to do. The following is a Falls Cat Making her way to the ring from the Philippines, Dawn Dynamic Motona. Sheesh. I will say though, Dawn Dawn definitely came a long way so far and within this my my rise. Started off very well, going very far.
Oh, oh shit! I get, I get Justine. I didn't think I was gonna get her in a match, but let's go. I thought she was just gonna tell me she didn't want to face me, but okay, nice. She looks good in her gear though, she definitely does. Gives a lot of like a Trish Stratus up to date type of look. Come on, Justine, show me what's good. Attempt to defeat Justine in TBD rules. What is TBD rules? Falls count anywhere, no disqualifications, no counter. Oh, okay, okay. So it's a falls count anywhere match, pretty much. Yeah, I won't, I won't need it, but you know. It's good rules, nonetheless. Probably will help Justine. Ooh, nice counter. Let's rock out with these legs. <laughs> All right, Justine looks like she, looks like she, her legs definitely can't take much hits. So this is already looking like it's going to be real easy to take her off. change my own signs status is now free by the way status is not banned anymore so i could take down the the, the free free status signs because he's free now <laughs> now nah, i'm very happy about that status is definitely one of the main people that got me to always enjoy the game especially when i need like special questions of people status was always pretty good for that so i'm definitely happy his ban has been lifted now I just need to grab some of his people again before the game decides to ban him again. Oh shit! I didn't know Justine Justine had, had a had a reverse durability, but okay, that's good. Like I said, she was gonna need these rules more than me. Justine, you stopped one of my bigger moves, but you ain't stopping the onslaught, though. I always admit, I always felt like the, the snap mirror has been kind of like an underrated move most times, just for the fact of the sheer effectiveness of the move. Alright, Justin, we're going to call the date. Oh, you're still reversing the finisher. Okay. Let's see if you get out of, get out of this up kick yet. Yeah. 
Justine gave me a fight. She was not trying to tap out, which I respect. She was giving me a fight, but Dawn Dynamic is just too damn and good, bro. That bitch dynamic. Oof. Alright, I don't know if there's any more to this side story. I feel like I already got far for the fact that I just took out Justine. So I feel like that should be it for this side story. But at least you know the live crowd had fun though. And that's good. That's all that matters. All right, nice. We got it over with. All right, so I already did stretch out the stream a little longer than I need to, but I'm happy for it nonetheless. Oh, let's before, before I fully end this out, let's see. Was there anything said on social media from Justine? The future is in good hands. Congrats, Cap. I'm going to go ahead and take a nice bath. <laughs> Quote, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unquote. Hey. You are getting zero credit for my retirement, kid. You had to beat me way worse than that. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But at least I beat Justine in the matchup out of nowhere. <laughs> but all right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This has been a nice four hour stream. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with this My Rise. We progressed a lot. And so far, I can truly say, I said it before and I'll say it again. The women's story seems so much more interesting and more engaging than the men's story so far. And I really like it, honestly. So, tomorrow, we will be back here, I want to say around 3 o'clock, because I don't really have much to do beforehand, 3 or 2 o'clock. And we're going to continue the My Rise stream. Um, I thank you guys for joining. I thank you guys for watching. I thank the people that, is, that we have new followers. I hope to engage with, new follow with more new followers down the line as... We go strong with this series as well as soon. This Tuesday coming up, I promise, this Tuesday coming up will be the return of Zombie Tuesday. Last week, I fucked up. This week, I'm going to make up for it. Well, upcoming week, but whatever. And like always, if you guys want to see and catch up, the VODs are always here on Twitch. And of course, it is always on YouTube for the Blade Franco Plays channel. So subscribe to that as well if you need to. But... I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoy your night. Yup, yup.